All right, so someone wanted me to do a, another tier list video. Um, the person is from a Discord server. I'll probably link down in the description if you want to see more videos like this. Um, pretty wild, well, I shouldn't say that, but a pretty interesting approach, I would say, or interesting, how would you say that, request. It's not that weird, but, uh, you know, how this came to be, I'm trying to explain, because basically a dude that is like a 40k ASMR channel requested this video to me, or requested this topic to me, and I have done RYM in the past, so I am familiar, of course, with the site and with uh, how this works, of course, because, you know, the last couple of things I've done on this channel are tier list because they interest me. I like to just talk endlessly. And I also just like to hear myself back because I've I've done the metal tier list and it's really like the only video that I kind of use for white noise. So I just think I want to become like a podcast, kind of like, like a white noise kind of channel. I really, you know, the only video that I still really like for myself is like the last video I made, the, the, the metal band tier list shit. I just like to hear my own opinions back, you know. Uh, just kind of think about what I thought at that uh, moment, and you know, maybe some people resonate with my with my opinions. I just think it's uh, cool to hear that. So, um, and apparently that guy liked it as well because a fucking 40k sub channel approached me for that. So that was pretty cool of him. Uh, join that server if you want. It's probably in the description, like I said. Uh, but this is the top 599. Uh, albums on rym so thanks for that dude um i was like you know i am still you know i would i would still say that i am into these type of videos you know where you just kind of like lose your mind or like you just talk endlessly about shit that you like because i've really i really liked it on the metal band stair list but you know when i made the video no one really gave a response but that guy said, um, I like your vids. They're good white noise. And I 100% agree with him because my, my videos are kind of white noise. But I like that. Um, so yeah, got a bunch of people that like music like this on my server. So join it if you want. Link in the description, like I said. So let's just begin with the, with the videos. I think this is the same amount of albums as um, metal bands on the last video, like 599, I believe, or even 699, I'm not sure. I did count them. It's either 599 or uh, 699, so I'm not sure, but uh, we're just gonna start. Um, yeah, like I said, on the metal band stair list, if you have seen that video, I basically just rank uh, these albums on what I think. You know, it's just my personal taste. And I'm not saying if something is God or shit, it's like the definitive take. It's just my opinion. That's how most of these tier lists work. If you've ever seen one. So, yeah, um, you know, I've been browsing the site for a while, the RYM and the tier list maker site. Uh, I like both of them quite a bit, but I have kind of fallen off of it. I'm just consuming the products that, that I rated, you know to get more insight on them but um but yeah i do still like to do it so uh so yeah i'm just ranking it based on how i feel it how i feel uh of these albums and usually you know something would be in gather if it ha is like and really explosive and really exciting and really chill it really has to have everything that i look for in an album and it's kind of rare to get at that position but when you go there I like highly recommend it. Um, okay, so this is a Black MIDI album. Um, my server is actually really into Black MIDI or like some of my mods. So I always wanted to get into it for that reason. Um, and by the way, I have some unique tiers here. You know, I got, of course, the, the God, Top, High, Mid, Low, Shit, you know, the, the, the usual ones. But I did make some unique ones because there were more under here that I just added it. So we have Dumpster Fire and Boomer Tear, which I've kind of made up. Um, dumpster Tear, like if you're so bad 
um, you know, if if you land in dumpster fire, you're so bad that I literally just want to incinerate you. Like I want to incinerate every fucking copy of that album uh, if I see it, you know. So if you're that bad, I'll put you in dumpster fire. Uh, and Boomer Tears basically music that, you know, I would probably consider like low or shit tier. But it's so boring for me that I don't I don't care enough to put it there. So I just put it in Boomer Tear. I'm just like, yeah, this is like old death rock music. I don't give a shit. And, you know, there is some old Boomer death rock music that I like, which I will probably put higher. But, you know, if I really don't give a shit about it, I'll pr probably put it there. There was like another room left. So I just added it to Boomer Tear. So <laughs> um, this tier is not really that seriously, but I would say that like, shit and above it's it's all pretty serious dumpster fires like kind of a semi semi joke but it's also like wow this is really bad like how does it how does it exist uh kind of like the poser garbage there from metal band series if you still remember that uh so yeah black midi like i said i've heard a little bit of black midi and i was not into it it's way too fucking all over the place and i just think that the band kind of sounds like a mess to me it's not really relaxing music so I didn't like it myself, but I didn't really listen to the album. I just heard a couple of songs and I wasn't into it. I did hear that latest album though, but I'll talk about it if I see it. Uh, so Flucky, so Flucky by Slow Dive. I love this album. It's like really like a uh, chilled out, like shoegaze dream pop kind of music. It's really fucking chill. It's really relaxing to listen to you got shit like when the sun hits which is just fucking explosive for me uh 40 days is amazing you got uh so lucky space station i fucking zone out to that shit slow dive is a fucking amazing band i love them this might be got here like you can vibe to this album as well but the only thing that i'm kind of missing with this album is um like it needs more hard hitting moments like when the sun hits like this album is kind of sometimes wide noise you know which um i don't always listen to it because it is kind of wide noise and you do kind of put it on late at night it's just like a chill out album so this is like a demigod album for me it's either top or god here uh, i think i also prefer it over loveless to be honest like i, I like it better it's more relaxed this is really difficult. Um, I'm going to put it in top tier. Maybe I'll put it in god tier later. It's really good, though. It's really fucking good. Um, Fiona, the newest Fiona Apple album I've heard a little bit of, and I wasn't really into it. It just kind of sounded aimless to me. Um, and I am a Fiona Apple fan. I do like her. I do like her voice. I do like her piano playing. Um, it, I wasn't really into her later, so I'm, so I'm going to put it on Haven't Heard. Uh, Power Slave by Iron Maiden. I think that the first two songs are pretty good, and the last two songs are fucking amazing. Um, the middle side is kind of like filler to me. Like nothing, none of that stuff really hits me. And you know, Rhyme of the Asian Mariner, of course, is a really good fucking album or a really good song, but it does kind of go on for a while. It, it kind of feels like an extended version of Hollered Be Their Name, if that makes sense. Uh, so I do have some problems with this album, but it does sound pretty classic. So, I might put it in mid or high tier. Like with Maiden, I always kind of like, you know, I love some songs of theirs, but I don't really enjoy a full album of theirs. Like the close thing I, um, that I like is probably Somewhere in Time. That one of my monster groups with is also their best album, and he's like a huge Maiden fan. Maybe I'll put it in high tier. I'm not really into Maiden myself. Um, Bob Marley, I've heard a couple of his songs bob marley and the waiters i believe i don't really care uh slayer uh pretty consistent album it's pretty fucking heavy you know rain and blood obviously um i probably prefer seasons myself or even maybe the debut or hallowates um i think they they do have quite some good albums you know before they went to shit rain and blood is usually considered the best one you know rain and blood and uh altar of sacrifice i believe that's pretty fucking good um there was also one song that was like crazy fucking fast like like all of them uh you know angel of death is probably my favorite the opening song obviously uh necrophobic i believe is also a song i'm not gonna look anything any of these song titles up because there are way too many fucking albums um i don't remember the song but uh it's pretty good i like it the tone is kind of shitty but uh the album is pretty consistent it's pretty hard hitting i'll probably put it in a high tier I quite like it. 
Uh, this is a Journey Mitchell album. This is not my favorite one. Haven't really heard all of it. Television, Marky Moon. Um, a lot of people say, like, um, fucking, <laughs> the strokes wouldn't exist without this album, which, I mean, I don't really care myself. I'm not the biggest strokes fan, but um, television, I've heard a little bit of this. I thought that the guitar tone was kind of all right. The, the drums were pretty decent. I kind of dislike this guy's voice, and they kind of just um, repeat a riff into your brain. So I just they kind of keep looping around with a pretty subpar sound to me. So I never got into this album. I've never really fully enjoyed it. But fucking R.Y.M. loves this album. It's it's like in the top 50 or 60. Uh, I haven't visited R.Y.M. RYM in probably a couple of months. But the dude that requested this is really into uh, these albums. Uh, I'm probably going to put it in low tier. I don't get it. You can fucking dislike it. But YouTube disabled the dislike. So I don't give a shit. Uh, I didn't care, uh, you know, I didn't give shit before that, but now it doesn't even matter. Uh, Camel, I've heard this album a couple of times, but not enough to really rate it. I'm not the biggest, uh, like, classic prog rock fan anymore. This is a jazz album from a guy that I can't really read this, it's too small. Miles Davis, I haven't really sat through a whole Miles Davis album. Uh, the Kings don't really appeal to me. I don't know what that is. This is, I believe, a Minecraft album. Like the second one, right? I've honestly never really... Um, I've never really sat fully through a Minecraft album, to be honest. It's too meta for me. The, uh, this is a fucking... I forgot this guy's name, but he's really fucking experimental. There's also like the Death Grips dick on here, which I have to censor. Or something, or I have to like skip it because I can't fucking raid a dick, right? Uh, some of these are not loading, it's kind of weird. Hopefully, I can refresh this and it w wouldn't reset. Yeah, okay. I thought there was another one here, but I think most of them loaded in now. Yeah, okay. Quite a lot of albums. Um, Tom Waits. I've only really heard his first album, but I think he hates that. Uh, this is the Swans album that I hate the least. So I should say that. But I've, you know, it's kind of like post-punk and kind of atmospheric in a way. A kind of like folk rock driven, but st the tone still doesn't really appeal to me. So I'm not fully going to judge it. But this is the most listenable Swans for sure. I'll say that. Uh, Suicide. Suicide is a really weird kind of drone post-punk type of band. And they make really fucking weird experimental music, like synth punk, I believe. I really don't get this album. It's really fucking weird. So I'm going to put it in low tier. I don't get it. I don't get the appeal. Uh, Alice in Chains, Dirt. I think that the tone is pretty hard, pretty expressive, pretty hard hitting. Uh, Lane's voice, he uh, kind of like bleeds on the whole album. He's pretty expressive. Um, you gotta love that. Pretty good album. Um, you know, I love some songs like Damn Bones and Wood. Those are amazing songs. Uh, Down in the Hole is pretty alright to me. Rooster is pretty effective, so I'm probably gonna put it in high tier. Uh, maybe top tier. Um, yeah, may uh, maybe. The album is a bit too. Um, Lane's voice does kind of grate on me, so I don't have a lot of replay value with it. But you know, when I hear the singles, I go pretty wild, and also Junkhead is pretty classic to me. Uh, Car Seat Headrest, never got into them, I don't get the appeal. Uh, Animal Collective, P uh, Post Meriwether Post Pavilion, I believe. Um, not my favorite Animal Collective, but I still think it is a pretty fun sound, pretty relaxing, pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'll say high tier, maybe top tier. Um, it is, it, I do kind of lose my mind when I listen to it, so sometimes, so um, yeah, it doesn't get in high rotation. Not any of these albums, really. I've just been listening to singles like a lazy dipshit. Um, I try to get into Patty Smith, I don't like her voice, I don't like her tone. She had like one album where she was like, you know, with a brawl, something, so I was like, oh, 
that's that's kind of hot. And then I listened to it and I was like, oh, this is kind of boring to me. Uh, Pe- no, not Perry Smith. Elliot Smith. Uh, Elliot Smith. I never really got into him because he kind of like multi tracks his vocals to shit. Because he he is a pretty bad singer. And people like it because it's like emotional or something. He says, uh, or people say, oh, uh, his vocals are shattered because he's so sad. I'm like, yeah, his vocals are pretty bad. That's the reason why it sounded like that. Um, I never really got into him. There are some songs that I like from him. I believe my favorite song, Twilight, is on there. I think that's called like that. Uh, That's my favorite Elliot Smith song. Uh, I haven't really listened to the whole album, so I can't judge. Don't know what this is. Uh, Swans, no thanks. Arcade Fire, I've tried to listen to this album a couple of times. I really loved it at one point. I probably put it in like higher top tier at the time. Uh, I think it's a bit too pretentious and hipster for me now, so I'll probably put it in mid tier. You know, Wake Up is pretty classic. You got the whole Rebellion uh, lineup, which is pretty cool, but not necessarily my favorite. I just think that Arcade Fire is way too hipster for me. I don't know. I don't think they're that good, to be honest. They're pretty overrated. Nick Cave, never really got into him myself. David Bowie, I don't think I've heard this David Bowie album. Uh, Symbolic by Death, pretty classic. I'll probably put it in top tier. Uh, the Tower track is pretty classic. Uh, probably my favorite is Without Judgment. And that's pretty fucking great. Uh, I love, you know, The Crystal Mountain, of course, fucking great. Um, pretty classical, pretty classic technical death metal album. It's pretty great. It's not my favorite necessarily, like I've said on the metal band Stairless, but... Still pretty good shit. Uh, Scott Walker, never got into this album. I think that Scott Walker has a really good voice, but this uh, production is kind of outdated, but I can't really blame him. It's it's an, This album is, I believe, from 2000... No, from the, from the 90s, maybe. Um, I don't remember, but it's pretty old from what I remember. Um, this, what is this again? Jeff Rosenstock. Um, I never really got into Jeff Rosenstock because his vocals are all over the place. He just kind of scream yells into the mic and he calls that music like Death Grips or something, but pop punk. Um, I never really got into his style. You know, same reason why I don't really like Death Grips. Uh, I'll, I'll say haven't heard, but maybe I'll give it another shot. Uh, Brighter Later by Nick Drake. Uh, there are some really amazing songs on this album, uh, like Hazy Jane and um, like literally my favorite Nick Drake song, How It's Called Again. For some, for some albums, I have to make an exception, even though it's going to be way too fucking late for me. Uh, yeah, but, you know, but Nick Drake is an exception for me. He's, he's a pretty exceptional artist, so... Something with Moon, I believe. Uh, Northern Sky, yeah. That's my favorite. This pr- uh, this critic is pretty rough. Poor Boy was also pretty catchy to me. The title track is pretty great. Uh, At the Charm of a City Clock is fucking beautiful. So, um, yeah, this album is really fucking chill to me. I might give it top tier. And I'll say I'll say high tier for now. It's pretty it's pretty inconsistent, but uh shit like Nor- Northern Sky is fucking beautiful. I love that song. One of my favorite songs. Um there was one person that tried uh tried to get me into this album. And it's it's I believe it's labeled under MPB or some shit. Um, I've heard uh, a couple of songs of this album and I do like the tone. I found a fucking, um, oh, how's that fucking from Studio Ghibli? Um, uh, my neighbor Totoro. We found, I found a fucking AMV of uh, my neighbor Totoro. It has kind of like some nonsense intro to it, um, for two minutes but when when the music kicked in I fucking loved it I almost wanted to instantly add it to like my top one of my favorite songs um, so I actually really like the tone of this album um, I'll probably put it in high tier I liked it so it's it's pretty good I like it maybe if I hear it more it, it could go up pretty good um, Spider Lamb Slint I'll probably put it in God tier it's one of my favorite albums um, you know Brett's Brett Crum, uh, <laughs> Brett Crum Till. No, 
Breadcrumb Trill. Try to say that f- five times. Uh, that is one of my favorite songs, I would say. Good Morning, uh, Captain is amazing. I would say that might be my all-time favorite song. That song is fucking amazing. Nosferatu Man is probably my most played. Yeah, there are a lot of fucking good songs on this album. It's like tense. It's it's like creepy sounding. It's eerie, but it also like hits like a fucking freight train. So it's like the perfect album for me. You can like relax to it, but you can also like fucking headbang to it to like the the heavier type of songs like Nosferatu Man. Um, Animals by Pink Floyd. I'll probably put it in high tier. I'm kind of that, that person that like I love dogs. Uh, the song, I should say. Um, I love that song, but I don't really care for the rest of the album. Like, uh, Sheep has moments that are like, picks uh, two different parts or some shit. I like that, two different wings. Um, but I only really love Dogs, you know? That's like the only song that I would actively return to. So I would say just for that song alone, I put it in high tier, but it's not my favorite Pink Floyd. I say Wish You Were Here, Dark Side is my favorite. Uh, La Zeppelin 4. Um, obviously, I like Stairway, like a normie. Um, going to California is pretty uh, pretty relaxing. Black Dog is kind of too death rock for me. Personally, this whole La Zeppelin in general is a bit too death rock for me, so I'll probably put them in mid tier. I think they're pretty alright, but they're not really my type of band. Gorillas, uh, pretty relaxing album. Uh, the production is great. The the features are great. You know, you got fucking MF Doom on there, and you got like one uh, lady. Um, I forgot her name, but she sings on all low, and then I fucking love her voice in the bridge. That's an amazing guest appearance. You know, you got someone on Dirty Harry who like lays it down. So you got a lot of really good features on there. Uh, you know, um, Sean R- Sean Ryder. Kind of wanted to talk uh, Dutch there. Sean Ryder, uh, f- she, you know, on there is fucking great. So there are a lot of great features on there, a lot of great songs. Uh, El Manana and um, what else? You know, Dare is pretty good. All Alone, I really like. You know, the uh, November, November has come. That You know, that. A lot of amazing songs. I'll probably put it in top tier. I think it's pretty great. Love it. Um, Brian Eno, I've never really got into him. It's not really my type of ambient music. Pearl Jam, uh, to be honest, I think that the production is really good on this album. I think that the album sound is pretty timeless. There are some pretty good songs on here, like Alive, uh, Jeremy, you know. Um, yeah, you know, half of the album kind of sounds like fitter to me. I do think that Black is pretty amazing, though. I hate Eddie Vedder's voice though. I fucking hate his vocals. When I did like the, uh, when I reacted to Pearl Jam, I got a lot of shit for that, but I don't really give a shit. I'll probably put Pearl Jam in mid tier. Uh, you know, if Eddie Vedder didn't sing that obnoxiously, I'll probably maybe even put it in high tier, but it's too obnoxious for me. Uh, talking ads, I've not heard a lot of them. Boris. Uh, what album was this again? This is like one, uh, it's like an alternate cover. And they also have a cover with uh, where they replicate this, Nick Dre, where they replicate, re- re- fucking hell, replicate Brighter Later. So that's pretty cool. I can't fucking talk today. Or ever for that matter. Yeah, it's this one. This had a really fucking amazing song on it, like the last song, I believe. Akuma na Uta. Yeah, oh yeah, that is this album, yeah. Yeah, I really like this album. Um, yeah, there was like one song on there that's like fucking got her Boar song, like all of them are. Um, well, it's Boar, so I put it in the top tier. It's pretty great. The Rolling Stones, not interested. I, I hate Dead Kennedys, but I couldn't never sit to, through a whole Dead Kennedys album. Um, maybe I should just put this here. Um, yeah, you know, just to represent Dead Kennedys, and someone just asked me if I'm gonna <laughs> put it on YT. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, not a huge fan of it. Don't like it. But I haven't really sat through the whole album because I can't stand it. 
Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what, what to rate is. I'll probably put it in Heaven Heard, but I, I hate the Dead Kennedys. I fucking hate their sound. Um, this is going to be all take. Sgt. Pepper by the Beatles. I think that most of this album is really fucking generic garbage. Filler shit, you know. Um, what the fuck do you got on here again? Uh, when I'm 64, Lovely Rita, the intro is fucking corny as shit. This whole album sounds like corny shit. I hate it. Um, the only song that obviously is good is really good is the last song, A Day in the Life. So just for that song alone, I'll probably put it in low tier or I could put it in boomer tier but it's really fucking boring to me I think that the album cover is pretty fucking dope though um, so yeah there's that but I'm not a huge fan of it <laughs> he's curious about the list but this is like a dude that I fucking play Rocket League with he has no idea what I'm doing um, I don't know what this is uh, Burial I'm honestly not the biggest fan of this album necessarily. I do like the first album, which, you know, it's more like chill out and vibe to. And this album is a bit more self-serious. You have to be a bit more invested. Um, so it's a bit more difficult for that, but it is still pretty chill. I've gotten a lot more into Burial. Uh, Foster Care, which is like on a compilation disc or something, is one of my favorite songs. So... I love that, but it's not on this arm. But uh, I'll probably put this arm in high tier. I did consider it kind of like mid or low at the time, but it really grew on me over time. So I really like it now. Burial has a pretty like interesting kind of like vibe layout kind of uh, vibe that I like. Uh, Tongs, Larks, and Aspect, I believe, is this album. Uh, from King Crimson. I've heard like the 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 title tracks of it, which I thought were pretty fucking chill, pretty dense, pretty uh laid out, layered, fucking experimental proc rock music that King Crimson is known for. I personally prefer Rat, but this is still pretty fucking great, so I'll still put it in high tier. I like this quite a bit. Um Asia, I believe is the name of this. Asia by Steely Dan, one of my favorite albums. Uh it's fucking chill, you know, Black Cow. I believe this uh, yeah, Black Cow and uh, Deacon Blues is fucking amazing. So this album is chills, fuck. I love it. Um, maybe even Gatir. It's really fucking chill. Yeah, let's put it in Gatir. It's one of my favorite albums. Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. Uh, obviously a bit overplayed. It's a bit overrated. Um, you know, Us and Them obviously is an amazing song. So much emotion in that. The tone is fucking gorgeous. Brain Damage Eclipse is a perfect way to uh, to end an album. I do think that the opening is a bit too slow for me. Like, it, like I, I also believe you have the, the clocks and shit. Uh, you know, Time, obviously, an amazing song. Money is a bit too boomer rock for me, personally. Too, a bit too dad rock. This whole album, arguably. Um, any color you like is pretty good. And that song with the really weird operatic vocals, I'm not a huge fan of. So there are some dodges on there or some like dodgy moments. Um, and it's a bit too overplayed. So I can't, like it's not my fit. I kind of go on and off, you know, it is a bit too overplayed, but it's still fucking classic. So I'll put it in top tier, probably my favorite Pink Floyd. This is the Kira Kira Bonita album, which I've heard a couple of times and I did enjoy it but it does kind of become white noise to me <laughs> after a while it's a bit uh, too it's kind of like anime to me like I do love how it looks and sounds but uh, after a while like it, it gets very overly sweet if that makes sense like it's kind of like eating candy or some shit you know same way as you would consume this like it's pretty sweet at the time but if you do it too much it becomes a bit too monotonous so I'll probably put it in high tier for that reason. I do still like it, but you know, trampoline is a fucking banger. Uh, fuck you if you disagree. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is another Miles, Day Miles Davis album. Ken, uh, I could never get into Ken or the whole crowd rock scene. I don't get it. This is the band, I believe. Dave Bowie album that I haven't heard. This is Sonic Youth. I believe that the 
the Radio Baby or songs on this album, which I've played on Guitar Hero 3. Um, never really got into it myself. I think it's just a bit too repetitive. Um, Metallica and Just a Thrall might be my favorite from them. There is a lot of filler on this album, but you know, songs like One and the title track, and you know, what else is on there? Dyer's Eve is fucking explosive as shit. Uh, Blackened is great. Uh, a lot of good shit on this album, you know. I do miss the bass though. The bass, you know, Lars the Dickhead muted that out. So uh, the tone is pretty great though. So I do like that quite a bit. Um, I'm not sure if I would. Mm, I'll probably say high tier. I do like it quite a bit, but it's not my favorite Metallica. Uh, I think this is the Black Album, maybe. What the fuck is this? I thought it was the Black Album, but apparently it's something else. I don't know, because I don't see the snake. This is like a really weird, I believe, post-hardcore band or something, like indie, math rocky and shit like that. I've heard it a couple of times. I wasn't completely into it, but it did sound kind of cool, but not completely for me. Uh, Sun Kill Moon, it, Sun Kill Moon is a uh, kind of like an indie folk rock band. Um, they also have a genre or like a title for this, but I forgot it. <sighs> There's like a term on RYM for Red House Painters for. Like really slow, like bedrock kind of music. I forgot how it was called again, but I don't always listen to that because it's a bit too quiet for me, it's a bit too mellow. But Red House Painters is my favorite. Yeah, slow core, yeah. Uh, this is from... I forgot how this guy was called again, but Red House Painters is my favorite project from him. Uh, Mark Koslek. Mark Koselek, uh, founder of Red House Painters, which I do like. I do like that band. Sun Kill, Mo Sun Kill Moon is a solo project, which I liked as well. There was like one song in there that I really fucking loved, and the tone in general is pretty fucking chill, so I put it in high tier as well. Yeah, I should, I should maybe like have some, more to have some more top or mid tiers, because the high tiers is getting filled up quite a bit. Probably going to be a hot take here, but Kate Bush, I do like her um, a lot, but... To me personally, I don't really get her tone. Her tone is a bit too outdated for me. Like that's kind of that 80 synth pop sound that's kind of dated her sound. But her vision and her like her creative outlet is of course pretty great, but it's not like the most enjoyable music for me. So I'll probably put it in mid there. Next to all this boom rock shit. Um, yeah, a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Blackwater Park by Opet. Uh, Opet might be my favorite band to do still to this day, so I hold them in very high regard. Definitely a god here for me. You know, you got Bleak on here and um, the opening song. Well, Drapery Falls isn't the opening song. I forgot the title of it, but that song is fucking epic. Uh, Harvest, of course, is, is really relaxing to listen to. So you got a lot of like good chill on there. So, you know, the title track, like I said... If I didn't say it already, is a fucking masterpiece. I love that. Speaking of masterpieces, good at. Hell yeah. Miles Davis. This album is a bit too fucking crazy for me, but this was one of the albums that I did throw out because this album is acclaimed as hell, but I could not get into it. It sounds way too fucking crazy for me. So that's mid tier for me. Um... The Brothers Band or something, I don't remember. Closer by Joy Division. I was never a huge Joy Division fan. The vocals and the instrumentation is weak as hell. Never liked it. So, um, yeah, that's the low tier for me, mate. The Bands by Radiohead. Not my favorite Radiohead album. It's a bit too, like, uh, I would you even say that, pedestrian type of shit. It's uh, it's 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 kind of sounds like cracker music to me, not to be racist or something, but it's kind of like like um, um, students rock, white people kind of rock or something. Uh, might be an offensive term, I don't know, but it's it's too mad for me. So mid there. Um, I do like some ra later radio albums. Animal Collective, I've heard this album once. It's it's pretty out there. It's pretty explosive. 
Uh, I'll probably put it in a high tier as well. The vocals can get a bit crazy on me, but it is in general a good vibe, I would say. I think this is a Lou Reed album. I was never a huge Lou Reed guy. Um, I think I've reviewed this album once, but it's too long ago. Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. Um, I did say I prefer it over Animals, and do st still prefer it, I would say. Um, yeah, you know, you got fucking Wish You Were Here, which is amazing. Um, or I would say it's pretty good. It's a bit too student rocky, I would say. Uh, I do like Shining You Crazy Diamond, of course, especially the first part, which is amazing. And one of Pink Floyd's best songs. But after that, I would say that fucking um, the, the, the later part, like the ending song is kind of white noise to me. Welcome to the Machine kind of sucks to me. I never liked that song, but I love um, Shining You Crazy Diamond, the first <laughs> five parts. <laughs> I think it was, was called part one through five or something like Pink Floyd was high as hell, for sure. Like, what the fuck? Steve Wonder, not my favorite by his, but I did enjoy some recent Steve, Steve Wonder. Uh, the Day of Life type of shit. I was called again. That album where it's all orange and shit. Uh, Sabotage, not my favorite Black Sabbath album. It's been too long that I listened to it. Voodoo. Um, this album cover kind of turns me off. The songs themselves are pretty decent, but they do kind of seem aimless to me. It's definitely ta kind of a vibe, but I never really sat through this whole album. The microphones, the glow part two, I think is pretty good. It's pretty good, uh, yeah, like noisy kind of indie rock type of music. Uh, pretty good. I'll probably put it in a high tier, maybe top tier. Mm, no, it's a high tier. It's pretty good, but it's a bit too bombastic to really like put any higher. Um, Billy Joel, definitely Boomer Rock. Um, would I put that? Yeah, well, it makes more sense for the shit and the dumpster fire. Um, Billy Joel's just Boomer tier to me. He has some decent songs, but he's way too fucking boring for me to rate him. So, whatever. Joanna Newsom, I was never into her voice. Um, this is T Rex, I believe, which also sounds too Boomer tier for me. So I could put him there, but it's a bit disrespectful. I've never really said to his whole album. Um, wow, yeah, wow, okay. So this is reason, because it has Lingua Ignota, like her latest album. This album is boring as hell. Like, I think that's, like, the fucking Melon Gate is like a nine. It's so fucking boring. I don't get it. It sounds like a fucking funeral to me. And that's probably the point of it, but it's it's not enjoyable music. No, that's low tier for me, mate. It's really, really boring. Uh, Gainsbourg, I think a French pop artist. Um, okay, some person tried me, tried. They tried this album on me, or I've heard um, some of this album because a person in my server wanted me to get into it, and the vocals are fucking dog shit. I hate the vocals; they're so fucking bad. <laughs> But the music was kind of decent, though. But I've, I have not sat through this whole album, so I'm going to withhold the judgment. But I fucking hate this guy's voice. I can't stand it. Juice. Uh, Kid A by Radiohead, I think it's pretty good. It's probably my favorite radi Radiohead album. I'm going to put it in as a high tier. It's a bit too depressive for me. Like, um, you know, Radiohead in general is a bit too depressive for me. But uh, the Tiles record thing is really good. I like, what else do I like, you know, Optimistic I think is an amazing song, that's one of my favorite Radiohead songs, I would say, Kere is probably my most played one, um, How to Disappear Completely, I think that song is a bit too one-tone for me to re really enjoy it, Every, it's been a while that I've really listened to Kere, but uh, Everything in this Right Place, I believe, that's pretty good, Idiotech, of course, is a banger, so... They're just like fully ripping off Avex Twin, but I but I like it. I like it. Uh, Led Zeppelin, this is probably my favorite from them, but it's been a really long time that I listened to it. What was on here again? Over the Hills and Far Away is pretty amazing though. This song's fucking great. Um, really chill tone. Fuck what's. 
Yeah, I do. I do want to give it a shot though. It has a really good tone. It's it's one of my favorite Led Zeppelin sounding albums. So I do think it deserves a shot. I think it sounds better than Led Zeppelin Four. Come at me. Uh, the Rain song also. I really like that. The song remains the same. Dire Maker, I like quite a bit. No Quarter, um, cover by Two, that's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, pretty good vibe overall. The Rain song is fucking amazing. I love that song. Uh, I'll probably put it in a lighter. I like it quite a bit. Um, oh yeah, this was a band that just came out. Black Country, some people were into it, but I don't get it. Uh, Rush, the the Honeydew song is on there, which is pretty good, but I don't remember most of this album, so I can't honestly rate it. Spiritualized, I've tried to listen to this album and I couldn't really get into it. It's like kind of boring space rock drone music, so meh, mid tier, maybe low tier. The Stone Roses, I like quite a bit. Um, what else is on there? She bangs the drums as a banger. Waterfall's pretty relaxing. The I Adore You song, I Want to Be Adored, that's an amazing song. So pretty good tone in general. Uh, I'm the Resurrection is pretty great too. So I'll put it in high tier. I like it. I like the song Heroes by David Bowie. Um, recorded uh, in collaboration with Robert Fripp, who I believe wrote it all the parts for David Bowie. So that song is pretty great, but I've not sat through this whole album. Hunky Dory. Um, Life on Mars is a fucking amazing song. I love that song. I think I tried to listen to this whole album and it just didn't really capture me. It didn't really uh, entice me. It just didn't really grab me. But I love Life on Mars. So I'll probably put it in mid tier. But uh, Life on Mars is like, I think it's it recently came into my top 100 because it sounds fucking amazing. Um, I have that with a Cowboy Bebop AMV, which is fucking amazing. Watch that, please. Just type in Life on Mars, Cowboy Bebop, and you will probably get it. AMV. That's so good. Oh, wait, I did listen to Machine Head. Uh, Machine Head. I do love Highway Star, though, but like shit like Smoke on the Water is a bit too overplayed, so I'll pr put it, probably put it in mid tier. Uh, space Trucking, I think, is fun. Lazy, you know, songs like that. It, it's it's a pretty fun album. It's it's a bit too death rock for me. Okay, so this album, I think I gave this like half a star on RYM, and I might have to change that rating, but no one really gives a shit about about my RYM. So why bother? Why bother? Um, yeah, I do think that the topics in Neutral Milk Hotel are pretty fucking cringe. You know, the way they talk about Anne Frank and. You know, I'm not not really gonna go into it, but it's really fucking weird and creepy how they talk about Anne Frank. It's really weird. I was never into it. It's creepy. It's weird. Um, the, the the vocalist, you know, I forgot his name, but the vocalist uh, Jeff Mangum, I believe, he sounds like fucking garbage to me. Just like a whiny, fucking pretentious asshole. He sounds like to me. So I never was into this album, but um, the instruments are decently recorded. There is some decent like of there are some decent folky bits on there. I like the folk sections quite a bit. You know when they just shut up, I like that. But uh, when when he opens his mouth, I am suffering. So I'll put it in low tier for that. I don't. It's the most pretentious hipster bullshit that I've ever heard in my life, probably. Um, Deep Purple in rock. Um, I've heard this album once. Child in Time is pretty amazing, but I don't remember anything else. Love wasn't into it. Uh, when the Pawn by Fiona Apple is my favorite Fiona Apple album. I love Get Gone. That's an amazing song. I think Paperback is on there, which is also pretty good. Uh, Limp, I believe. There are some other songs on there, you know. <laughs> fucking inspired Limp Bizkit. Yeah, right. A uh, pretty good album. I like it. I like the tone. I like the atmosphere. Um, I like her voice a lot, so... A uh, pretty good album in general. I do think it does. Um, it sometimes sounds a bit too directionless for me, but that was always kind of my problem with Fiona Apple. Uh, but I do like it though. I'll probably put it in a high tier. I like it quite a bit. 
uh, Bruce Springsteen in Nebraska. I think I gave this a two on my channel. Maybe my lowest rated album ever when I still did reviews. Um, yeah, but I haven't heard this in a while. Maybe if I hear it now, I might like it. I just wanted like fun, exciting music, and this album bored the fuck out of me. But maybe if I listen to it now, I might enjoy it. Who knows? Um, Avalanches. Avalanches since I left you I think it's pretty good it's a bit too repetitive and obnoxious for me to really like put it higher but I think high tier I think it at least deserves high tier I probably prefer their mixtape G mix more now I like that quite a bit but um, but yeah you know that's not on this list I think so so let's move on Plastic Beach by the Gorillas. Um, honestly this album the vibes are great the songs are amazing you know empire ends is like one of my top 50 favorite songs or something the the fucking i think uh yukimi nagano sings on that by little dragon her vocals are fucking amazing so the some of my favorite vocal melodies some of my favorite vocal lines that i've ever heard in the song she sounds fucking gorgeous on that song um the, the song the texture the layers in that song the tone uh, just the way that Damon Albarn like spills his heart out on that song is fucking beautiful. Uh, you know, Old Man and Call the Hill is amazing. You got uh, what else? You got the the Todd Trucker thing is really fucking really enjoyable. What else? Um, Stylo I think is really fucking fun. So yeah, you got so many amazing songs on this album. Uh, th you know, there are some um, you know s songs that kind of fall flat, like you know, super fast jellyfish, which sounds like a mocking of a commercial while sounding like it, you know, uh, which makes zero sense to me. But like the overall enjoyment of this album is way too good. So yeah, it's honestly one of my one of the best, one of my favorite albums. So I'm gonna put it in God here. You know, there are definitely some flaws with it, but for me, I, I enjoy it just too much to really, like, put it any lower. It's it's too... It's too fucking fun for me, man. It's too much fucking fun. So le definitely listen to it. It's 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 a great album. I love it. Uh, Red by King Crimson. Um, yeah, you know, same thing as Tongs, Larks, and, Tongs, Larks, and Aspic, I believe. It's a bit more to the point, I would say, or it's just a bit more consistent, I would say. So maybe top tier, but it's kind of like the same thing to me. So also high tier, pretty enjoyable shit. Just like really dense, complex, just really out there, proc rock music. Just really like professional, um, like kind of music playing, you know. It's not really like necessarily the thing that I listen to a lot, but I still think that's pretty great. It's still pretty enjoyable. Uh, the Mars Volta, the first album, the Comatorium album, I believe. Deloused in the Comatorium. Uh, I think it's pretty great. Uh, I'll probably put it in the top tier. You got some songs like uh, Area Tikra, I believe. I'm not sure if you say it like that. You got the opening song, which is a fucking banger, of course. Um, this album does kind of like it. Ble it's kind of becomes white noise after a while, so that's the reason that I don't put it like in God there. But in general, I do really enjoy the overall sound of Mars Volt, and this is their most um, this is their most entry level album, I would say. So I definitely start just at the beginning, I would say. Led Zeppelin two, um, it's too boomer for me. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I could put every Led Zeppelin album in Boomer tier, but like the the second one sounds too Boomer for me, so I don't know. It has obviously it does have good songs like Whole Lot of Love and the Lemon Song, you know, and uh, Ramble On, but it's too far. It just sounds too Boomer to me, so I can't. No, I can't do it. Uh, Comus, I forgot what this album was called, but um, this is a pretty wild fucking folk album, like, and not anti-folk, but. There was a name for this, but I forgot it. Like, kind of crazy, psychedelic folk type of music. Uh, the vocals are fucking insane. The in the the instrumentation, just how it's laid out, how it's presented. It's it's pretty crazy. This band is pretty wild. So, I really like it. I really like their uh, experimentation. So, I'm going to put it in top tier. Pretty fucking terrifying arm cover as well. I put it at arm on for so long because I wasn't into the... Uh, I thought that the album cover just looks fucking terrifying, but I like it now. 
Cocktail Twins, listen to it a little bit, but uh, not enough. The sound didn't really, um, it didn't really grab me in. Uh, Grace by Jeff Buckley, pretty amazing tone. His vo his vocals are pretty great. Um, his songs are a bit too cry porny for me, so I don't always really put it on. It's definitely kind of a mood, but I'll put it in a high tier. Pretty pretty good shit. Um, Last Goodbye is fucking beautiful. That song is amazing. That might be in my top 100. That song is really fucking good. The Doors. Uh, the first album, I think that's, that's a Lime of Fire, obviously, is a good song. Uh, Crystal Ship is my personal favorite. I think that Break on True is too dad rock for me. The End is too slow and boring for me. So there are definitely some hits and misses on this album, but in general, I do think that the sound is pretty decent. I might prefer their second album or <coughs> the last album, but yeah, it's still decent. I'll put it in the mid there. This is Ween, but I've not set, uh, set through this album enough to really rate it. New Little Ugly Main album is kind of of his fucking, uh, kind of of his whacker. He is, he's a bit too insane now, or he's a bit too out there for me. Uh, Swans, I tried to get into this album. It still sounds pretty bad, so it didn't really entice me. Uh, the first Massive Attack album, you got um, Unfinished Sympathy on there, I think it's called like that. Uh, pretty decent. It's not my favorite Massive Attack, so I'll put this one in mid there. But Massive Attack, I would say, is one of my favorite bands, but that's not my favorite album from them. Uh, the Downward Spiral by Nine Inch Nails. I think this album is pretty good. Uh, you got shit like Closure, which I would say is one of my favorite songs now. I watched a Mirai Nikki AMV with it. And yeah, it's like still the most enjoyable thing that I've ever uh, sat through from Nine Inch Nails or industrial in general. So that's uh, that's something, I guess. Um, y you know, you got a March for the Picks, of course. You got Hurt, uh, which I probably preferred. Nine Inch Nails versions over the Journey Cash version. My favorite Journey Cash song is Earth. <laughs> uh, good meme. Uh, well, it's pretty good. The tone is not necessarily my favorite. Uh, I'll probably prefer the Fragile myself, so I'll put it in high tier. Uh, yeah, I like their next album a little bit more. But uh, Nine Inch Nails is pretty great. One of my favorite bands. Interpol. Never really was into them. Uh, I just think they're kind of a boring, like post-punk, uh, post-punk revival type of band. Not my favorite, so low tier. The Smiths, their last album, I think is pretty good, but it's not as. I think the tone is better than the Queen is Dead, but the Queen is Dead just has better songs, I would say. So I'll probably put it in a high tier. Uh, Pinkerton by Weezer, um, one of my favorite albums, I, I would say. So and the tone, the expression is pretty wild. The lyrics are pretty bad though, so that's, I'll probably have to put it down a tier for that. So I'll probably put it in top tier, but still pretty good. Um, this is the new wave King Crimson of. Don't have, have not fully set through that album. Illinois by Sylvian Stevens is um, pretty dense, pretty long. Pretty uh, unwinding. It's uh, it's a pretty out there album, but I like it. Uh, good instrumentation, good vocals, um, creative writing, creative songs. So it's it's pretty good. It's like kind of like piano indie pop rock, I would say. It's uh, pretty enjoyable music, so I like it. I have not set through this Lady Gaga album. Pretty awful album cover. Uh, Childish Gambino. There are some songs that I love from this though. Um, I'm really bad with titles right now for some reason. Um, the, the obvious songs, the hit songs, fuck. I like those songs, but I've not, I've, I haven't sat through this whole thing. I think Sweatpants was one of them. And they have one that's called like 3085 or something. Those are pretty good. I think those, those are the titles. Uh, those, I love those songs, but I've not sat through the whole album. Uh, Abbey Road by the Beatles, probably my favorite Beatles album. I'll put it in mid there. Um, you know, I want to see Savvy is pretty, pretty good. Um, come together. I like something might be one of my favorites. Um, yeah, it's definitely up there. It's definitely top five, I would say. Here comes the sun is definitely my favorite Beatles song. This song is fucking great. Um, th there's too much fitter on this album though. I don't, I don't really like it the whole way through. But there are some really good songs on this album. It's just a bit too dead rock for me. 
uh, the Smiths had full of hollow, I'll probably put it in high tier. Uh, this arm would, like, it could be higher, uh, or it could be top or god tier, if, like, <coughs> because half of this album is, like, studio songs, and the other half is, like, demo songs. And I'm like, why isn't this whole album studio songs? Because there are some really, like, great songs on there, but then you hear the production, and you're like, why does it sound like this? So this could have been the the greatest Smiths album to me, but it, it has too many, like, weak-sounding demo songs for me to, like, fully appreciate it. Which is a shame, because if it wasn't that, it could easily be a five-star album. But uh, yeah, there you go. have not so many albums. Uh, I have not fully set for this album. Uh, Converge, Jane Doe, fucking awesome. Um, Metalcore, it's one of my favorite uh, metal albums, I would say. Uh, Jane Doe, it's, it's it's explosive, it's expressive, it's in your face. Uh, Converge doesn't give a fuck, you know. They just go in, they just destroy you, and they just like leave ashes behind. Their their tone is just fucking brutal and awesome. They just they just rule to me. Uh, you know, Phoenix and Flight is one of my favorite songs. Home record goes fucking wild. Uh, Concubine opening song is just crazy, you know. Um, yeah, the title track is, is uh, just comes down and just crashes down into earth again. And just an amazing sound. Uh, Loveless by My Bloody Valentine. I love, um, what do I love of this? Shallow, of course. Shallow is one of my favorite songs, I would say. Um, soon, pretty good uh, vibe, good closer. What else is on air? Um, when you sleep, pretty great. I wish that Belinda bitch. Uh, ooh, sorry for that, <laughs> misspoke. I wish that Belinda Butcher sang on this song. It was not was not a joke, by the way. That I just misspoke. I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, pretty great. Um, the tone is a bit off for me though, so it's not something that I always put on, but I still probably rate it top tier. I still think it's pretty good. Uh, Drugs by Avex Twin, only heard it once, but uh, can't fully really judge it for that, so. This is Curtis Mayfield, I believe. Someone tried to get me into this album, but he, he has those, like, really staccato, kind of <coughs> inconsistent vocals when he does that. I move on up, you know, when he does that shit. I really don't like that. It's um, It doesn't appeal to me, but... Um, one person out of my server really liked it, so um, it's an acquired taste to say the least. But I wasn't into it. I, I do like that Kanye West sampled it though for one of the songs. Like all the fucking titles are slipping me today. This is a Cure album that I couldn't get into. I'm not generally a big fan of the Cure. Okay, I think this is an interesting album to talk about. I'm gonna put it in high tier because it is generally a good sound. Uh, Zelda music in general is pretty amazing. But, you know, most of you would probably say, oh, this this uh, sounds amazing. So it's Topper Gater. What are you doing? Okay, so the reason why it's not Topper Gater is because <coughs> when you're playing Majora's Mask or most Zelda games for, the, for that matter, you're usually just playing uh, into a area that just loops the music forever until you walk out of that area. So... What they did here is they grabbed all of those um, sound samples and they put it like all the songs on there, but just their original length. So usually Nintendo would like use a sample loop in one of the areas for like six, seven, eight seconds. So you literally get a whole album with six, seven, eight, maybe 10 second long songs, which how am I supposed to enjoy an album like that when the songs can't go anywhere in that length? So I think that's pretty ridiculous, you know, to like listen to this, listen to Majora's Mask in album format. It sounds pretty retarded too, uh, you know, but I do like to listen to game music from time to time. So, you know, I am guess I'm that in a way. Um, it's not necessarily retarded, but, you know, when, when you're actually listening to a, an album like this that has songs that don't last and you still consider it a favorite or something, like, what are you doing? Um... Yeah, I don't get that, you know. If the songs were, like, if they had a longer length, like a minute or something, maybe I could give it uh, some slack for that. 
but it's like 10 second loops samples you know it's like 10 second uh, 10 second sample loops so i i don't you can't really listen to it in ARM format but it's still on there i guess it's still on rwm rwm still likes that i guess amnesiac leftovers of kid a not a good but uh pyramid song is pretty amazing that was definitely a standout but besides that it it is kind of leftover shit yeah i mean it literally is in a way it literally is the first pink floyd album it's too long that i've listened to it but i believe interstellar overdrive is on this album which is pretty amazing uh can like i said couldn't get into it uh what is this the soft bulletin by the flaming lips probably my favorite from them but i haven't really sat through this whole album to really rate it uh carry on low by Sufjan stevens i think that the tone is pretty good fourth of july is an amazing song i love that song um it's a bit too depressing for me to really like return to it a lot it's definitely kind of like a mood album so i'll put it in mid for that but there are some amazing songs on there though like fourth of july is might be one of my favorite songs uh, I could never really get into the later Charlie XCX uh, songs. I'm kind of like a normie fan, if the, you know. I just like her like more poppy, uh, abrasive shit. Channel Orange by Frank Ocean, I think it's pretty good. I'll probably put it in a high tier. Um, I like it, but it is a bit inconsistent. You know, you got to think about you on air. Which is pretty classic. Uh, Pyramids is one of my favorite songs. That song is fucking amazing. So just for that song alone, I put it in a high tier. Channel Orange in general is just a pretty relaxing album in general. It just sounds pretty chill. Pretty pretty chill vibes. Pretty just cool. Just relaxing to listen to. So uh, If there were more songs like Pyramids on it, uh, it would definitely be a top or even Gather album. Uh, Mount Erie. Not the band, but um, this album by Microphone is pretty good wide noise music. Or pretty good like um bedtime music so i'll probably put it in high tier not as good as the glow of course which has actual song structure mount air is just kind of like white noise it's still pretty good london calling by the clash never got into it i think i've heard it like once or twice it just bores the hell out of me it just it sounds like punk without balls if that makes sense it's just really fucking the clash is just like the lamest punk band to me i've never seen this album cover before it's probably a new one the beards i can't read that and gang of gang of four really boring post punk bands uh obnoxious as hell as well obnoxious as well so yeah it's just boring to me loser i think i've listened to the, this dead De kennedy song which i hate i hate their sound i just hate their song structure i just hate how they sound how they sing that kind of just sound like garbage to me, so I'm gonna put it in shit there. I could put it in dumpster fire too because I think they they're they're putting a car on fire, maybe with John F. Kennedy in it or something. No, because he got shot in the head. Um, Led Zeppelin. Yeah, the first one is a bit too boom boomer rock for me. Meh, boring. Uh, Toxicity by System of a Down, pretty good. Not my favorite System of a Down. I prefer the first and uh, the second one, or the the third, the second one is this, I believe. Um, the first and the last arm. The last arm is my favorite System of a Down arm. I probably put it in top or gather, but Toxicity is good, but it's a bit too straightforward in your face. It's just a bit too, yeah, a bit too traditional for me. Uh, their other arms are just a bit more experimental, just a bit more fun for me. Uh, Bob Dylan is definitely too boomer rock for me, for sure. Acid Bath. Uh, Acid Bath is a pretty dope sludge metal band. <clears throat> they're not my favorite uh, sludge band, but and their tone is pretty brutal, pretty good, pretty in your face. So um, I like them for that. You know, the album does kind of get wide noise. It, it, it does become kind of wide noisy after a while. So that's the reason that I don't uh love the bands but i do really like them though they have some really good uh fucking bangers like a uh, finger paintings of the insane is pretty fucking good and uh blue you know blue is fucking great so i tear at least i would say 
LA Woman, probably my favorite Doors album. Um, the Tower track is really, really fucking fun. Riders on the Storm, the song is good. I'll probably still put it in mid tier because the Doors are just a bit too dead rock for me, but uh, still decent, I would say. Uh, Discovery by Daft Punk, a lot of fun songs on there. It's a bit too repetitive, you know, because they uh, it's kind of the same thing as uh, Zelda or video game music. Like, you have like a pretty good sample and you just like put that on a loop and then you call it a song, you know. And that's what Daft Punk, Daft Punk does, does in, um, in artist form. So that's not an appealing thing to me, but their sound's pretty good. Um, pretty fun to listen to, I would say. So I'll probably put it in high tier. Maybe top. It is a fun album. So there you go. <coughs> Michael Jackson. Thriller, the, the best selling album ever, I believe. Uh, Beat It is pretty good. You know, it's uh, uncredited and Eddie Van Halen. You got uh, the Tar Trek on, on, on here, of course, which is great. Uh, Billy Jean, probably my favorite. Normie opinion <laughs> incoming. Um, it's a bit too predictable for me. You know, it is the best selling album ever, and I do like it, but it's just a bit, uh, it's overplayed. I've heard it too much. I, I, I never have to hear this album again. But Billy Jean is pretty good, though. Homogenic by Björk. Um, this might be my favorite sounding album by her, though, but it's not my, my it's not the most enjoyable one, I would say, because um, she gets like kind of <coughs> intense in some ways, but she always kind of does in a way. Um, you know, I do like Joga a lot and Hunter's pretty wild. Hunter is a bit too much for me, and that's how the album opens opens up. She doesn't give a fuck about uh, newcomers, I guess. Um, probably my favorite is Bachelorette. Uh, that song is fucking beautiful. Um, yeah, that's a fucking art piece right there. So that's pretty good. Um, uh, was there something else that I really like? I never listen to Björk because her um her vocals are too unconventional for me to really like listen to, and I usually just like to play a game while I listen to music. And Björk is too demanding, you know. So. Like, you really have to sit down and listen to her music, so... Um, yeah, it's definitely high tier, but I'm I'm kind of like, wait, is, isn't there like... Oh, no, 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 um, I love Bachelor, Bachelorette, but fucking... Um, All is full of love, but the, the uh, music video version. That's my favorite Björk song, actually. I found, like, a really weird AMV with that, and that's, like, my favorite Björk song right now. That song is fucking great. Uh, so, yeah... I kind of like uh, like a jump on jump off moment with Björk. Like one moment I was kind of okay with her, then I loved her, then I hated her, and I'm kind of like, huh, oh, she's kind of cool, <coughs> kind of cool weird indie chick. Um, Nico fucking depresses me. Um, I li try to listen to this album. It's 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 fucking miserable. So <coughs> I could put it in. Yeah, it's really fucking depressed me. So maybe shit there. I couldn't really sit through this whole album, so I guess haven't heard, but it's it's really fucking miserable. It's like uh radio has to cry your fucking heart out. Nico is in town, bitches. This is probably my favorite Miles Davis album, but I forgot the title of it. Um he does more of a jazz fusion type of sound on there. Pretty good, I would say. Maybe high tier, I haven't really listened to it enough. Uh this album has in my life on it, which is my favorite Beatles song. Or it's one of my favorite Beatles songs. It's my favorite of this album for sure. Drive My Car is pretty decent. Um you got some other shit on there, but I don't remember it enough. Melancholy by Smashing Pumpkins. Um too much filler, too much songs in general. But the songs that are great, you know, like Zero and Nineteen Seventy Nine is a timeless song. Red in a Cage, or I was called again. Was it the actual title? No. Butter with Butterfly Wings. That song is pretty great. Uh, tonight, Tonight is a beautiful song. So uh, this this album is definitely like a banger to me. I would def I definitely say I prefer um, the album before it, Siamese, tw uh, Siamese Dream, which has better production, I would say, and it just hits a bit harder for me. Mayonnaise is one of my favorite fucking songs. I love that song. So that is amazing. So if if that album comes on, I'll I'll rate it too. 
Uh, Godspeed, uh, kind of too boring, mellow, post-rock kind of shit. Um, I'm more into like uh, bands that have like a slow build-up and then they like fucking deliver, like like Mogwai or Explosion in the Sky, like post-rock like that, or even like Slint in a way, which you could describe as that as well. Um, yeah, but Godspeed never really was my type of band, so low tier for that. The, the, their shit just doesn't go anywhere to me. Like those other bands do. <coughs> um, it's been a really long time that I've listened to the radio at all. I've I've heard you know I've heard Kid A and uh, Amnesiac and In Rainbows more than this one. This was always like kind of like the the black sheep in that era. Uh, my sister is all on vinyl. She says <laughs> that is good study music, I guess. Um, yeah, but I've I don't study so. I'd, not really significant for me. This is the most popular Elliot Smith on, but I still have not listened to it enough. Uh, Pulp. Um, uh, fucking Ordinary People is one of my favorite songs, I would say. But uh, you know, you got you also got Disco 2000 on here, which is pretty classic. <clears throat> There's too much fitter on this arm, which kind of um, it kind of holds it back. But Pulp is probably the best Britpop band, I would say. Like, they have the highest of highs, I would say. Like, Common People is, I think, the only song in my top 100. And it might be on the 100th place. And that's easily the best Britpop moment, I would say. This looks like that Prince album, but it's brighter. Maybe a remaster. Uh, Turbo Port is that. Um, <clears throat> the production is different on there. They're really experimenting on there. Um, nothing will really be dummy for me, but they, they still tried. Um, I wasn't really into it myself, I'll put it in the mid there, but I do still appreciate them trying and, you know, coming back and having a pretty diverse record, but, you know, it's not as enjoyable as their, as their, uh, as dummy, you know, so. This is the fucking Twin Peaks soundtrack, which... I found kind of boring, so I'll probably put it in mid tier. It's not really my type of music. Uh, Twin Peaks is an interesting show, but the the music it it is a bit too vague for me to really fully appreciate. Master of Reality by Black Sabbath, pretty good album. I'll probably put it in high tier. Um, you know, you got Into the Void, which is like a fucking great, like kind of stoner rock type of, type of song. You got Children of the Grave, which is a classic. Uh, you know, Into the Void, like I said, is is my favorite of the album, the last song. Uh, Sweet Leaf, you know, when he when he does that cough and when the song opens, fucking classic. So I like that album quite a bit. <coughs> okay, this is uh, the second fucking Marvel album. It's also been a while that I've listened to this arm. I've listened more to the first arm. Myself. Friends of the Mute. I <laughs> wish I didn't give five stars, but... Uh, yeah. Damn. My friends are mixed on it. Um, you can, by the way, request this video. Uh, go follow him on... YouTube here, Discord. He's pretty chill for the most part. Um, yeah, so, okay. Sickness is a pretty cool song. The Widow is fucking crazy. That's one of my favorite Mars Volta songs. Elvia, El Vieques is my favorite from them. Uh, Miranda, the ghost is... That, that ghost, Julia... Fuck. Mar Miranda, that ghost just isn't holy anymore. Um, might be my least favorite. Cassandra Gemini is a fucking journey. That song is insane. So... Yeah, I like that quite a bit. Um, four out of the five songs I like consider God there, and that uh, Ghost isn't holy anymore. That song is still pretty good. So, yeah, I'll probably consider it God there. It has been a while that I've listened to it, though, because I had to look up the, the, the title of it. But it is a pretty great album. It is my favorite Mars Volta album. Daughters, try to get into this. It just sounds like noisy kind of shit. So, yeah, low tier. It's like a terrible swans for me. This is my favorite Bruce Springsteen album. 
in the the darkness or some shit. Uh, pretty good, but I've not heard it in a long time. But it is the best thing that I've heard from Bruce Springsteen. Or uh, Dancing in the Dark, which is from the Born in the USL, which I hate. Um, yes, yeah, so there's that. I don't think this is like based off of a ranking or like alph alphabetical order. It's just like a random, I believe. Uh, the Who. Uh, this album, I don't forgot the title of it, but I only really like Love, Rain, or Me, which is like the only Who song that I can still tolerate because I just think they're the most boring fucking boom rock band ever, to me at least. Um... I don't even remember most of this album, but Love Rain Army is pretty good though. That's my favorite Wu song. The White Stripes, um, kind of the same thing to me. Uh, sounds kind of to death rock for me, even though they are like a 2000 band. Uh, I do like Ball and Biscuit though, and you know, Seven Asian Army. I don't ever have to hear the song again. Pretty decent album. I'll put it in mid tier. The sound is pretty good, but uh, the songs are just kind of aimless to me. This is the Ween album after Chocolate and Cheese, I believe, but I've listened more to Quebec myself, so can't fully judge it for that. But uh, fucking Ocean Man is a fucking banger. Don't sleep on that. Uh, this is the Velvet Underground album, which is pretty great. I would say, you know, Sunday Morning is, is a fucking beautiful song. That's easily the best thing that Lou Reed has ever done, in my opinion. Uh, you got Heroin on Air, which is a bit too aimless for me. Um, you got some other decent songs, though, but I would say just for Sunday Morning Alone, I probably... Oh, where is it? I'll probably put it in mid there. It's, it's a pretty decent album, but it's... it's uh, Lou Reed's stuff is just isn't really my favorite. Spirited Away. Um, amazing movie, of course. Uh, one of my favorite uh, Studio Ghibli movies, but... Trying to rate as a song for I do think that it has like all the songs or like um just f the full songs, you know. So it's already a big improvement from uh Majora's Mask OST. Um there are some fucking beautiful songs on this uh in the movie, you know. Also one where um one of my fans shared like a clip where the girl was like standing like in a grass field with another girl. Um, that was fucking gorgeous. You know, that that, that sounds beautiful. Um, I'll probably put it in top tier. Definitely an, a top tier soundtrack. Um, I don't think I will really put an OST in God tier because OSTs just kind of go on too long for me. Well, maybe there's one, but I'm not sure if it's on air. But if it's not, I will mention it then. I haven't seen it yet though, so... Cowboy Bebop, pretty classic soundtrack. Uh, you know, the, the, oh, the opening, of course, is fucking great. Uh, Cowboy, Cowboy Bebop music in general is fucking great. The show is pretty amazing, so I'll probably put it in a high tier. Maybe top tier, but, you know, it's an OST. I don't really listen to those a lot. You know, Spirited Away, of course, is a special excep exception for me. Cowboy Bebop, I could say the same, but Spirited Away just hits a bit harder for me. Boris Pink, um, pretty explosive, wild fucking uh, album. The Todd's track is pretty fucking great. Um, Farewell is a fucking god tier song, especially live. It, it sounds so fucking good. Boris still coming through with like god tier songs for me. So could be god tier, but I'll say top tier. It's a bit too inconsistent for me, but um, it's still pretty great. Modrat. Don't think I've even ever heard this album. Well, I think I've heard every Motor album. Um, I do like this more than the band Overkill, though, but Motorhead isn't really my type of band. Super Tramp, I haven't really heard a full album. Uh, Blonde, I'll probably still put in high tier, but I do. I like the sound better of Channel Orange, but I like the writing of Blonde better. So if someone could like um, have the production of Channel Orange and have the songwriting of Blonde make that, you know, that would be great. Uh, Nike's, I think, is pretty fun to me. Um, Pink Ivy, I believe. That song is pretty great. Um, we got one other song on there. I don't want to kind of... 
I do really like this arm though, but I've, it's just been so long that I've <laughs> actually sat through a whole arm. I'm not really an arms guy anymore, but someone wanted me to do this, so. Uh, pink and white and ivy are pretty great. Skyline 2 is pretty good. Nights. Nights is fucking great. Love that song. Um, there are, after Nights, it does kind of go downhill for me. So it's not my favorite, but it's still pretty decent. Uh, Billy Joel. Uh, this is my favorite Billy Joel album, though. So I'll probably put this one in mid there, but he's still pretty boomer to me. Uh, you know, you got fucking uh, scenes into a restaurant or something. I've got the full title of it. Italian scenes in a rat, I don't remember, but that song is pretty good. Um, Jimi Hendrix, pretty chill, pretty relaxing vibe on this album. Uh, probably my favorite to listen to, so I'll probably put this one in high tier. Access Ball by Love and... Uh, Castles in the Sand, I believe. That's um, I can't really find it anymore, just on Spotify. But uh, the sound is fucking great. Uh, the Jimi Hendrix tone in general, I think, is really cool. So I like it quite a bit. Uh, New Order. New Order, on the other hand, I never got into them. It just kind of sounded like Joy Division to me. Because this literally is Joy Division, but with synths and without uh, the singer. So I'll probably put it in low tier. I never got into New Order. This is a album uh, by Vince Guaraldi, who did the um, um, he did the Charlie Brown Christmas album, which I think is pretty decent music. Um, it is probably my favorite Christmas album. It has a pretty sweet tone. Um, it's pretty accessible kind of jazz music, so I do recommend it if you like Christmas music. But I kind of hate it. I kind <laughs> I kind of hate Christmas music, as I say. Um, so yeah, I'm less into that, but I do still like it. So I'll probably put it in mid tier. This is, I think, the white album by the by the Beatles. Too much fitter on it. I do like while my guitar gently weeps. I generally like the George Harrison songs. I would say that. Uh, but yeah, it's been too long, so can't really rate it. This um, Michael Eckerfeld from Opeth got this album on, vi on vinyl by Scott Walker. Um, I've never sat through this album all the way through, I believe. But Scott Walker sounds fucking great on this album. His his vocals, is, uh, I think he plays piano as well. He's like a multi-man talent. Uh, I really like the, the sound, so I do still want to check it out someday. It's pretty fucking great. So Scott Walker, uh, he's pretty good, but I just haven't sat through a whole album of his because he is a little bit of a... Like, his sound is a bit dated, but his voice and his instrument playing is pretty timeless to me. So, I do still want to give him a chance. Journey Mitchell, Blue, not my favorite Journey Mitchell album. The, the, I think that she, like, literally, like, sat at a barn or something and she recorded this because the production is really fucking minimal. I think she just recorded this outside of a studio because it sounds really fucking minimal to me. Uh, I do like the sound, though, but uh, or I do like her voice and her instrument playing, but the production is non-existent on this album. It has, like, black metal production. So, not my favorite, Joni Mitchell. Um, Heaven and Hell by Black Sabbath. Pretty great. The title track, you know, you got on here. Neil Knights is fucking great, so I'll probably put it in a high tier. Pro might be one of my favorite Dio projects. Or one of my favorite albums with Dio involved. Uh, I do prefer Rainbow, though, to be honest. King Crimson, uh, pretty great album. I would probably say top tier. Uh, the production is a, is a little bit outdated, so that's the reason why I don't fully like it for that. Uh, but, you know, in general, you know, you got um, In the Court of the Crimson King on here. And uh, 21st Century Schizoid Man is, is a fucking classic. Uh I think I said in one of my last videos that I uh, that I thought, oh, is is Moonchild your favorite or some shit? I was like criticizing some dude, but honestly, I'm kind of a fucking hypocrite because I really love that song as well. It's probably my favorite King Crimson song. It, it's just short as hell. It just comes in and comes out of the door. It's like relaxing. It's minimal. There's a little bit of percussion in the back. A little bit of. Um, 
Um, how, how's the guy called again? Greg Lake. A little, a little bit of his voice. You know, it's it's fucking beautiful. It sounds like cryptic and just um, I don't know, relaxing. It's it sounds like you're going through like a Lord of the Rings kind of uh, uh, adventure. You know, like Led Zeppelin but better in a way. Uh, Moonchild, at least to me. Um, I got like a fucking Ava AMV with it as well, so that's fucking great. Um, yeah, I love it. And this is the second Kira Kira Benita album. I think it has less... I was less into it personally. I think that the first album was more fun. <clears throat> but... Um, the... Um, the the sound, the diversion, just the overall quality of the album is definitely an improvement, I would say. But um, yeah, the the fun of it is kind of gone. The first album was like definitely more fun for me, but this one definitely has better riding, I would say. So I'll probably put it in high tier as well. Um, people say it's like highly Sweet Trip inspired, and I do like it a lot for that, but it's not Sweet Trip. It is... A, it is a good it's it's a good nod to that though i would say this is i think a really crazy punk album or post-punk no no uh folk punk i believe not my favorite in that in that style <coughs> personally uh pet sounds um i do love the song good vibration but that's not on this album um besides that i'm not a huge beach boys fan so i'm gonna put it in a load there it's not really my top of music uh, Modern Mouse, I think, sounds like garbage, but I've not sat through this whole album. Uh, Bob Dylan, too boomer for me. Journey Mitchell, um, this this one this was one of her more diverse sounding albums, but I don't think I think it's been too long that I've listened to it. So, <clears throat> Strange Days. Might be one of my favorite uh, Doors albums. People are strange, and when the music's over, I think that when the music's over is better than the end. Come at me. Pretty fun shit. I don't remember the rest though, so so I'm gonna put it in mid tier for that. And the album covers fucking dog shit. Um, five leaves, five leaves left by Nick Drake. Uh, pretty fun. Pretty great album. Maybe his most consistent album. This or P Pink Moon, I would say. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I definitely have kind of like a fucking... I'm definitely kind of like a big Nick Drake fan because I want to look up all his stuff. <laughs> uh, Thomas told me, you know, Riverman is classic. Uh, three Hours is, is pretty pretty fucking chill. Uh, Day is done is fucking beautiful. Love that song. Cello song sounds amazing. Toss and Mary Jane is really good. Um, yeah, just literally this whole album is fucking banger after banger. So I'll probably put this one in top there. <clears throat> Maybe it's the most consistent one in my opinion. Brighter Later is his weakest album, but it sounds the best. The production is the best, if that makes sense. Uh, this is Fishman, so I've only listened to Long Season. Uh, kind of an out there band, but I do kind of like them. Mayhem, I've heard Saunders too, but I've never really said. I don't think I've ever heard this album all the way through. I've heard bits and pieces of it. Bad Brains, uh, probably my favorite like raw hardcore punk band, but still not really my type of sounds. I might put it in mid tier. Yeah, yeah, let's fuck it, let's put it in mid tier. That's pretty decent. That's way better than Dead Kennedy's, I will say that. And Black Flag, garbage like that. Um, this is a Frank Ocean album, which I was less into. It's, it just kind of sounds like leftovers of Blonde, so I'm going to put it in mid tier. I like Blonde a lot more, like most people probably. Um, this album is fucking great. Love Quebec by Ween. You know, you got I Don't Want It on Air and uh, Transferable Celebration or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Um, and that's an amazing song. That's one of my favorite songs. The sound in general is really good. Chocolate Town is really, really relaxing. So it's almost fucking great. Love the fuck out of it. So that's definitely top tier for me. 
Never really got into Sonic Youth, personally. Caius sounds too white noise to me, too, um, too one tone, mid there. Uh, low by David Bowie. This is my favorite David Bowie album, probably, front to back, or maybe Black Star. Um, the sound is pretty interesting. David Bowie is a pretty, um, well, most people around him mostly produce his album. I think he did uh, just write his own songs, and but people really tried um, to have interesting production on there. I think he still work, worked with Robert Fripp, I believe. Um, yeah, it is a pretty enjoyable album, I would say. So I'll probably put this one in the high tier. It's my favorite day of Bowie. Um, I've only heard this album once, but it was a bit too simplistic for me. I hate R.E.M., but... Uh, yeah, I don't like R.E.M. I'm going to put it in low tier. Not my shit. Um, I'm not sure what a Weezer album is doing on there. Or like this Weezer album, because it's pretty bad. But it's too embarrassing for me. I'm not going to acknowledge it. Acknowledge it. Uh, this looks like a troll. Kind of weird. Um, trippy Red or a whole lot of Red. Wasn't really into it. Uh, I don't like Playboy Cardi's voice. I've only heard it once though, but yeah, not really for me. I like Dilith more. Blood on the Tracks, probably my favorite Bob Dylan album, so I'm gonna put this one in mid tier probably. Um, I'm not a huge Bob Dylan fan, but that's probably his uh, his best written album, I would say. I was never into never into Grateful Dead. I don't get their music. Definitely a boomer band for me. Um, Luna. Fucking Luna. Luna is great. Um, this is not... Like, you have, like, Luna the solo project, but you also have, uh, this one. Or, th this is the, the group. But this is Luna 1.3, or, or Luna Old Eye Circle, which is a weird fucking name, but... Um, I really, really love this album for some reason. I'm not a huge K-pop fan, to be honest, but... Um, the the sound on here is fucking great. I love, even my friends like it. Yeah, go figure. Um, yeah, but this is fucking great. Uh, fucking sweet crazy love is amazing. And cover is great. Girlfriend is fucking catchy. Lunatic is an amazing song. Uh, chaotic and Starlight are pretty good. Off front is like it's kind of recaps the whole album again, or like recaps Girlfriend, I believe. And ADD is like a prelude. So. Um, front to back, a fucking banger. So I love this album. It's definitely the most consistent thing uh, that Luna ever did, in my opinion. So that's gonna go in top tier. I love, I fucking love Luna. Come at me, I don't give a fuck. Um, Meriwether, no. <laughs> and that's the that's the fucking the seventh album, I believe. Um, this is. Spirit, they're gone. Spirit, they're vanished. They're their first album. Uh, it, it opens up fucking weird and abrasive, I would say. Uh, later, it, it will have songs that are pretty great or that I enjoy more, like Chocolate Girl and Elvin Rowe is pretty fucking epic. Um, there's also one song on here that I like or that I would consider a favorite. Yeah, for some bands I have to make an exception because this is a pretty great all and did give it five stars. So. Um, yeah, chocolate, chocolate girls probably my most play one. Penny Dreadfuls I think is great, and then April and the Phantom is also pretty good. So um, yeah, I would say like the first like five or six songs are really good, and then Alvin Row is pretty great, but then everything in here I'm not as big on so. It does kind of fall apart later. But oh, fuck. Don't reset, please. I don't think it's reset. It. I don't hope so, at least. Um, where is the AV term Panda Bear Elm? Fuck. 
out there. Um, I'll probably put it in uh, in top tier. I think it's pretty great. Um, it's probably my favorite Animal Collective album. Uh, not all their shit really hits, but um, yeah, I would say that um, their first one is still their best one, I would say, or it's still like the most experimental out there, still arguably in a way their most accessible one besides um, and, uh, um, fucking Meriwether Poach Pavilion. There you go. Someone recommended me that I would should listen to the George Harrison album because George Harrison is easily the best Beatle. He easily just writes the best songs. He is easily the the most talented member, I would say. Um, so yeah, I fully agree with that uh, fan that I should listen more to George Harrison because I do. He's easily my favorite Beatle. He just he is the best writer in the Beatles. So I should I should listen to this album, but I, I don't I just don't really listen to that rock music. But I do really fucking respect George Harrison though. He's I don't know, just way more respectful than um Paul McCartney and John Lennon, who I think are kind of clowns to me. We're still good songwriters, of course, but I prefer George Harrison. Um this is a pretty good misfits album, but it has Die Die Darling on it, but I prefer the Graves era, to be honest. I'll probably put that in high or top tier. Uh, I haven't really listened to the Denzig era enough to really rate it, but I do love the Graves era, so Misfits in my book is pretty dope. Uh, Soundgarden. There are some pretty amazing songs on there, like Room a Thousand Years Wide, and Jesus Christ Pose is probably my favorite Soundgarden song, which are both on this album. Rusty Case is pretty good, but it's, it's a bit too um predictable for me it's a pretty good album though like the first two songs that i said were are really fucking good uh so i'll probably put it in high tier soundgarden is a pretty good band i prefer alice and chance though it's my favorite in crunch bands death by human pretty consistent pretty hard hitting um i'll probably say it deserves top tier you know you got the fucking vacant plans and uh lack of comprehension that song is uh might be the most accessible death metal song. It's it's really catchy and fun. It's also recorded with the Cynic members, so it's a bit more tech death, you know, tech death driven. Uh, pretty good shit. Pretty good. Uh, it's probably the most accessible death album. Pretty pretty bad album cover though. Uh, Undertale. I never really bothered with this game uh, fully, but from what I've heard, you know, I do like it. I like the the Undertale music shop. That's pretty good. Uh, Midori. Can I? It has like some colors here, like that are different. So I want to look at that, but I can't really zoom into this because it's animated. Uh, I'm not complaining, but I can't share that on YouTube. So, <laughs> oh well, I did actually listen to this album. Uh, it's pretty good, but I prefer the first album. I would say Midori is a fucking insane band. Um, I'll probably say I I'll give this mid tier. It's a bit too insane for me. But if I see the first album, I'll put it in high tier. But it's not acclaimed enough, I think. American Football, pretty good. Uh, Nevermind, of course, an amazing song. Uh, the rest of the album is so-so, so I'll probably put it in high tier. But just for Nevermind, I'll, I'll say it's it's fucking amazing. That song, at least. I got up with like a K-On slowed in reverb uh, AMV bit, so it's pretty cute. I didn't listen to this, but uh, you know, Echoes is one of my favorite songs, but it's live, so I can't really count into the rating of this album. Uh, in general, I think it is a bit too meh for me. Like Echoes Part 2 just kind of goes on forever, so that definitely kind of uh, pulls it down. And like a football team is yelling on this album for some reason, so I'll put it in mid there. Uh, Paranoid, probably my favorite Black Sabbath album. I'll probably put it in high tier. It's a bit too dead rock for me, but, um, you know, fucking Paranoid and Warpix. Uh, Iron Man, of course, is great. Ferris with Boots. Uh, what else? Red Salad, I think is really fun. Uh, percussion type of uh, instrumental. So that's pretty fun. Um, yeah, pretty great arm. I, I really like it quite a bit. It's probably the most consistent Black Sabbath arm, so... Uh, the the tone the the greediness also pretty great so still a classic uh, heavy metal arm I would say my arms yours by Opet it's pretty great it's probably put it in a high tier not my favorite Opet arm it's it, it is a bit too one tone I would say or it's not 
it's a bit too dark for me, I guess. Like I do like dark music, but even my my arms is a bit too gritty for me. I like Opa to be like dark but a bit uplifting, like their later stuff, like um like the dynamic shift that they have. I love that in Opa, but um this album is a bit too uh too bit on a bit too much on the dark side for me. So not the most enjoyable to go back to. Um, this is the first Miles Davis album, more like the, his first like really acclaimed one, which I did like, but I've not heard in a long time. Um, okay, so sometimes I'm talking to a bunch <coughs> of Radiohead fans because I joined the server like that. Um, and they think that Three Fingers is like amazing or something. Well, it's just an, an ambient loop, you know? And they're saying, oh, it's so unique. It's so special. And I'm like, bitch, <laughs> fucking selected ambient works to exist. So what what are you saying? Uh, so yeah, kind of like a poser moment. But, uh, you know, it, you know, I'm not even the biggest Radiohead fan, but I just wanted to join a Dutch music server. And Radiohead was like the only one available at that time. Um, but this one is pretty cool. Pretty cool vibe. You can just put this on and uh, zone out to it. So... It's a pretty good ambient album. I'll probably put it in high tier. AFX Twin in general is pretty dope. Um, I've only really heard the first Sun Kun Moon album, but this one was really acclaimed by Fantana. Didn't I already rate Melancholy? Uh, yeah, I already rated Melancholy, or maybe part one and two, but I already rated it, so I don't get it. Um, Blondie on Blonde, I don't remember. The Sparks album, I don't remember. This is Steely Dan album, but I've only really listened to Asia and uh, <laughs> the other one. Fuck, uh, I forgot it. The Even Galleon soundtrack. Um, to be honest, I think that the Ava soundtrack is a bit campy for me, uh, or at least the the, the op opening, of course. It is, you know. Angels Teases, I think it's pretty classic, but it is a bit too cheesy for me or a bit too too nineties, too campy. But it is still pretty great though. It's still a pretty great opening. Um, you know, the fucking uh the teams in Ava can get pretty dark and pretty self serious. So uh the music usually reflects that as well. I think there's a song on there called Fly Me to the Moon. Um who made the soundtrack again? Shoji Maguro, right? He did. He also did "End of Ava," which is easily my favorite thing that he's ever done. Uh, so if that would be on the list, I'll put that in top or god here. Oh wait, I'm thinking of the persona. Uh, what was his name again? Fuck. Uh, End of Ava. But how do I look that up in album format? Yeah, releases. Do they understand what I mean by that? End of Eva. Or do I actually have to I have to fully type it out? Okay. End of Evangelion. How how difficult is this, guys? Come on. Uh Shiro. What did I say? Shoji Makuro. No, Shiro Sag Sagisu. This is my favorite Eva project. Is fly me, uh, fly uh, fly me to the moon on there, which is not even an original song though. But um, I fucking love yeah, that's like the opening, almost the opening song. Uh, I fucking love that song. Uh, Angel attack, angels teases is great. So um, yeah, and then it comes on again. <laughs> you have a bunch of fly me to the moons on there. Damn, the size of battle, I thought was good. Nerve, Asuka strikes, you know. Um, yeah, I definitely prefer the End of Ava soundtrack, but this one is still pretty good for the show. Um, the OP and especially the ED, like that really like eerie, that fucking all oh, the dark sound and I fucking love it. So um, yeah, I'll probably put this one on high tier. It's a bit too 90s for me, if that makes sense. But um, I do really like it though. It is pretty great, so... Um, but End of Ava would definitely be either top or god here for me. But uh, the, the, the show's music, I'll say, it's still good though. But, mm, or do I think it's top tier? Hmm. I'll say it, it is a bit too inconsistent for me. So not for me, but it, uh, it gets there for sure.
it's going places. Dookie by Green Day, I think, is a pretty dated album. Not really my favorite by them. I prefer American Idiot. Uh, Basket Case and When I Come Around, of course, are classic. And uh, Welcome to Paradise is probably my favorite. That song is pretty fun. But the album is a bit too predictable and boring for me. Now, at least, it's it's a bit too dated. Uh, Gojira, I try to get into Gojira. Um, their sound just isn't really for me. It just kind of sounds like like wannabe heaviness or something. Like people think this is some of the heaviest music ever. Like fucking <laughs> Conversion Mashuga exists. Hello. Uh, Gojira is still pretty decent though, but I just think they're really overrated. Uh, Elvis Costello is definitely Boomer Rock. Fuck that guy. He's a racist idiot. Um, this is the Bruce Springs album that I've listened to, but it, it has been too long. Uh, Post by Björk. Um, probably my favorite sounding Björk album. Um, I love Army of Me. I have to wait a Berserk edit by some person that slowed the fuck out of it, like uh, slowed and reverbed. That's pretty cool. Uh, Hyper Battle, of course, is a masterpiece. I love that song. Uh, what else? Isabel is really beautiful. Love that song. Um, yeah, there are some really amazing songs on the song, which I consider some of my favorites. But, um, you know, I don't really like her vocals and possibly maybe. Um, it's also quiet. Is is you know, it's kind of entry tier, so it's not really my favorite. Um, and her voice on possibly maybe is really weird. Like the way she phrases her voice is really, really awkward to me. Um, I do really like it though. And this is one of my favorite album covers. I fucking adore this album cover. So I do like it for that as well. So I'll probably put it in high tier for now. It's not my favorite Björk album, but it is really good though. It has some of my favorite Björk moments. So consider that. Um, yeah. Could be top tier, but it is a bit too inconsistent. Uh, another Charlie XX song that I couldn't get into. This is Flying Lotus. I forgot the... I, I think it's called Cosmogramma. Um, it has some pretty wild songs. I uh, can't really name them anymore, but... Um, yeah, from what I've heard of this album, I thought it was pretty good. The, the sound in general is pretty complex, pretty dense, pretty dense kind of electronic uh, IDM album or glitch hop, I think. It's called a glitch hop album. Um, yeah, I'm not always in the mood for this type of music, but, um, you know, when I put it on, uh, it's a pretty great fucking sound. So I love it quite a bit or I like it quite a bit. So I'll put it in high tier. It's a bit too inconsistent for me to put it any higher, but I still like it. Avex Twin, the first uh, selected Emium Works, the first one, 85 till 92, I think. Um, yeah, pretty classic IDM album. It's not my favorite, but it's still a pretty good sound. So I would say either high or top tier. It's it's, it's a pretty great sound. Um, I'll put it in a high tier for now. It's, it's a bit too inconsistent for me, but still good. I don't think I've ever seen this album cover before. Ben and Sebastian is a pretty adorable band, kind of like indie folk type of music. Um, yeah, they make pretty adorable music to me, but um, their sound isn't really always captivating to me. And, you know, when I first saw the Ben and Sebastian album cover, I was like, oh, cool, a chick singing indie music. But it's like two dudes, I believe, and like one female backup singer. So that was kind of disappointing to me. But, you know, because like indie... Uh, indie folk with female um with female leads that's usually does uh, quite a bit for me but this album doesn't have that so that was a bit disappointing but still a decent sound i think just a bit too repetitive <coughs> um the number of the beast uh kind of the same problems as power slave in my opinion i think that it has some really good songs but you know it, the 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 fucking middle side it's just a bit too aimless for me and uh, gangland is on there which i think is is a bad song in my opinion hollow bin and is pretty good though number of the beast is on there um children of the damned is classic so yeah you got a lot of good shit on there so i'll probably put this one in high tier maybe the best maiden album who knows 
It's like a normal beam, but uh, I don't, I don't really care. I don't really care. Uh, I've heard this Led Zeppelin all, but I don't really care about it. Royce, Royce off to heads off to Roy Harper is on there. Them. Uh, wings are definitely boomer tier. Boring fucking bands. Don't like them. Mezzanine by Massive Attack. Uh, there was one person that already did this list for me in the server. Um, yeah, he kind of underplayed Mezzanine. I mean, that's his opinion, of course, as it stays, but uh, I fucking love this album. I think it has a really like good, greedy fucking tone. Uh, it's one of my favorite trip, trip hop albums. I think that, uh, you know, uh, Angel's one of my favorite songs. Teardrop is fucking beautiful with Elizabeth Fraser. Um, Dissolved Girls probably my most played song. I just love how, um, how it keeps playing with the triple sound and then it just crashes down later into the song, which I think is really fucking great. So, uh, yeah, M Massive Attack Rules, probably my favorite triple band. Um, definitely top tier, maybe god tier. It's a bit too inconsistent though. Like early on, it's really good, and then later, it's, it's, it's kind of so so. But still, really good though. Still a, a sound that appeals to me. Uh, Fleet Fox is, is a is a good indie folk type of band, but their sound just gets a bit too repetitive for me. It's like kind of campy folk, so it kind of sounds like hipster beard uh, folk music, which most indie music does, I guess. But especially Fleet Foxes, so I'll put this one in in the mid tier. I still think it's pretty decent though, but it, it gets kind of too cheesy for me. Uh, White Pony by Deftones, amazing fucking sound. I love the Deftones, one of my favorite bands. Knife Party after with a Fade AMV change, you know, <laughs> AOT AMV. I, I'm just naming them all off. Um, I got Passenger on there, Ava AMV. <laughs> I love all of those fucking songs, man. Those songs are all amazing. Uh, Beth is on there, which is uh, fucking breathtaking to me. So, yeah, you got so many amazing songs on there. Um, there is a bit filler. There is some filler on there, which um, does kind of prevent it from hitting God there for me at least. But yeah, still a fucking great album though. Great sound, great vibe, great atmosphere. Uh, you know, Je Maynard James Keenan is on um, is on Passenger, which is great. So I love the fuck out of that out of that album. Black Star by Bowie, pretty good. Uh, probably on the same terms low for me. Uh, pretty emotional, pretty heartbreaking album if you have the context behind Black Star and what happened to David Bowie afterwards. So it was pretty sad, but um, it does hit. It does hit hard. Um, songs from the Big Chair by Tears of Fears. I know, of course, Sh Shout and Everybody Wants to Rule the World. Those are great. Uh, I've heard the rest of the album, which was kind of so-so to me, but still probably my favorite New Wave album, so I'm going to put it in high tier. It's my favorite. Motorhead. Um, yeah, this is, I think, the album that I've listened to. I wasn't really into it myself, so I'm going to put it in low tier. Motorhead is not really my type of band. It's just a bit too re repetitive, a bit too one tone. Uh, Maggot Brain by Funkadelic. This is a really fucking dense, experimental, pretty, um, almost kind of creepy sounding, got a funk album. But it is really good, though, especially the, the, the fucking. The the ten minute title track is fucking amazing. That might be one of my new favorite top top one hundred songs. Uh, I definitely want to vibe to this album a bit more. It, it the, the 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 tone is really fucking good. And you also have like one song that was like really explosive that I uh, combined with a hot first clip where where he's like sh shooting all the old people down. It was fucking awesome. So I'm gonna put this as an high tier. It's really enjoyable to me, uh, especially the title track. Don't fucking sleep on it. It's it's really good. Uh, the Kings, uh, I could put them in Boomer Rock, but I do respect them, so meh. This is not Jeff Buckley, but his father, but uh, uh, Tim Buckley. I've never really got into him, he was too experimental for me. Close to the Edge, um, I'm just gonna kind of represent this as, as a whole for Proc for me. Close to the Edge is kind of, you know, like most proc albums, uh, kind of just goes on forever. It just isn't really a sound for me that uh, appeals to me because it's just really like long, 
uh, proc compositions that uh, kind of just go on forever. And it just shows off a lot of technical phrases and like playing an odd uh, time signatures and doing all that stuff. But, but that doesn't really appeal to me. I don't really like that. I just like songs to get in, do something fucking great or like relax me and then just go out. The only reason when I really want a song to be long is uh, when I just want to vibe out to it, like something like Have a Nice Life, which I think still will be on here. Um, so yeah, that is the only reason why I want a song to be long when I'm not really paying attention to it. But um, when pro, you know, proc songs, you do have to kind of pay attention to them because if you don't, you just get really confused and lost. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm not really into proc music anymore. Rest in peace. Um, pretty great trash metal album. Holy Wars is on there, which is great. Uh, Tornado of Souls is, has a fucking epic guitar solo. Um, Hangar 18 might be the hardest fucking Megadeth song ever. Might be one of the hardest going trash metal songs, period. Taking the Prisoners is great. The title track is great. I mean, this album is front to back fucking classic, but it is a bit too uh, in your face. It is trash metal, so I can't really fully enjoy it, but it's fucking Rust in Peace. So, I mean, I'm not even I'm not even a Megadeth fan, but Rust in Peace is fucking awesome though so i'm gonna put it in the top tier also the album cover is great can deny that but yeah not really a relaxing arm that's the reason why it's not got here i think this is another fleet fox album i was just kind of too bored to listen to the second one in my opinion um this is jeff Rattel. i don't really care um uh, uh choo choo i believe uh, Shushu, uh, Shushu, uh, that dude with the baby penis from before. Um, I'm not sure why I suddenly know his name now, but yeah. But this is just like Twin Peaks steak or something. Like he tr just tried to do really experimental type of shit on there. So pretty cool. I'm going to put it in a high tier. I think it is an interesting album to listen to. So I definitely recommend it for that. Um, Carol King, I believe. It's been too long, but it's kind of like soft rock, like Flavio Mac type of sound. Someone recommended that I would listen to the Models of Invention, uh, Frank Zappa's band. They shared one song, and I really fucking like that song. So I should listen more to this, but it's kind of too dead rock for me. So I didn't really return to that sound because that's not really my type of sound. But the song that I've heard from this was really good though, so I definitely recommend it from what I've heard, but uh, I haven't really listened, uh, I haven't fully listened to it to make a full judgment. I guess Beertune, I believe, by Sigaros, not my favorite post rock bands. I'll probably put it in mid tier. Uh, I would say that the Parentheses album is my favorite. I think that's how you say that. Yeah, that's probably my favorite. I'll probably put it in a high tier if it's on there. Uh, Sigur Rose is a bit too minimal for me, but I do like them more than uh, Godspeed because they're more expressive. They're just putting themselves out there more. So I like them more. Yeah, this is the Minecraft album. Um, yeah, this is far from my favorite uh, music, but I mean, Minecraft music, it does kind of fall into a loop eventually. So I'm going to put this in mid there. Um... Yeah, I definitely prefer other soundtracks. If 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 my favorites aren't on there, I'm gonna mention them for sure. I don't want to spoil it yet if it's on there. 1989, Taylor Swift. That's interesting. There there are a lot of trashy songs on there, but there there are also some really good ones like Blank Space and uh, Style is pretty great. So I'm gonna put it in mid tier, uh, or I'm I lost it. Okay, that's probably for the well, it's here. Um, I'm going to put it in mid there. I think that Taylor Swift is um, is an interesting artist, but a lot of people hate her because she's very rich and she makes really obnoxious pop music. Um, yeah, so there's that. I've really listened to the new Yay or the, the newer Yay stuff. This looks like a Snapchat filter. It looks pretty bad, but I've never seen this. Uh, the Who, definitely boomer rock shit. Boring. 
uh, In Utero, probably my favorite Nirvana album. Hardship Box is my favorite Nirvana song. Penny Royalty is pretty decent, I would say. What else is on there? Um, All Apologies, I think, is pretty good. So, yeah, I don't know. I like it. I'm going to put it in high there. It's pretty good. Lingua Ignora, I could never get into her. Too intense for me. I don't really get this type of music. It's like deaf industrial. I don't I don't get that. Um Black Sabbath. I love the opening song, but the rest of the album is kinda of boring, so I'm gonna put it in mid there. But I have a lot of respect for it because it was like the first heavy metal album. Or that's what people say, so yeah. And I love I love the album cover. That's one of my favorite album covers, so I love that. But I prefer the sound of Paranoid, in my opinion. Uh, the Mental by Agalog, definitely a got your album. You can vibe to this album. You can uh, uh, zone out to it. You can chill to it. You can just. Uh, the only thing that you can't really do to it is like um, like headbang or so. You know, it's more mellow. It's a more dense album, so it's more relaxing. So it is le it is less for that, but it is still a really good album. So I still really like it for that. Uh, Rage I'll say mid there um, I always thought that Rage was kind of overrated I like Bomb Track I like Know Your Enemy you know I like yeah that was when made James Keenan pretty cool but um, Rage they get a bit too repetitive for me I think that Tom Morello's tone is way too fucking wanky for me so I don't like that but their song structures are in generally pretty decent so mid there at least uh, debut with Björk, um, still pretty enjoyable. I'll put it in high tier. Um, I say that debut is more in, uh more relaxing, so that might be my most listened to Björk album. Uh, because Human Behavior is on there, which is like re it's probably her chillest song. Um, that song is pretty relaxing. Or Venus as a Boy is pretty chill. That one is pretty fucking great. Uh, what else? The Anchor song, I believe, where she does more of an a cappella thing, I believe. Uh, which sounds way better than that a cappella album that she did, which I hate. Um, that's like the only Björk album that I really uh, actively hate, you know. Um, I've kind of like regrown to like Björk again, but then, you know, I, I could never like Medulla. I always thought it sounded fucking awful. Um, but yeah, those two songs are great. Um, I no, not I miss you. That's on our second album. Uh, you have that dun 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 dun. You have that song. How's it called again? I think I uh, thought she said I miss you, but I don't remember. I do like that. I do like the the orchestration of the song a lot. It's really like gorgeously composed. So I do like that quite a bit. But I forgot the title of it. Me friends like it too. Um, it's pretty good. Yeah. One, no, come to me. Come to me is pretty great. Uh, Vine Lappy is also a lot of fun. Like someone in love. She has really expressive vocals on that song. Like kind of like I miss you in a way, but like also a cover, I believe. It doesn't say here, but I believe it was a cover, which also sounds pretty good. Uh, also, I love this cover. Björk looks fucking great. Fucking pretty girl, so. Um, yeah, I like it quite a bit. Also, the, 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 the kind of like house type of production on here. House and down tempo, dance pop. She was going a lot to the clubs, I believe, so that's why she picked up that that sound, that uh, kind of like underworld Avex Twin type of sound, which is pretty cool. I fuck with that sound quite a bit. Um, Revolver, probably the best sounding Beatles album, but the songs are kind of mad to me, but I haven't really heard it in a while. Probably my favorite album cover as well. A fan made this, <laughs> it kind of says enough, I think. Uh, this is another Avex Twin album, which I haven't heard in a while, so I'm not sure if it's really fair for me to rate it. Uh, the Blue album, I think it's pretty great. 
Um, my name John is on there, which is probably still my favorite Weezer song. Uh, what else you got on there? Um, the sweater song is fun. Then you got Only in Dreams, which is amazing. Um, hey, a Buddy Holly, you know. That's that sad song. I forgot the title of that one, which is <laughs> I think the most popular song. Yeah, but the sound, the, the the power pop kind of pop punk sound on there is pretty great. I like that quite a bit, so I'll probably put this one in high tier. Uh, pretty enjoyable. Fishman's. Uh, Fishman's is a bit too repetitive for me, a bit too one tone. Um, so, like, there are a lot of people that fucking love the sound. Uh, I think that the sound is pretty in general, I would say. Um, but to me... I don't know. It just sounds a bit too wide noise for me, so it gets a bit too boring for me. So I'm gonna put it in mid there. Master of Puppets. I think uh, pretty great, pretty great production, pretty good sounds. Man, the guitar track is fucking great. Uh, Battery Orion is uh, one of my favorite instrumentals ever. So pretty great sounds in general. Um, Probably put it in a high tier. It's not really an album that I return to a lot because all the songs are kind of overplayed, but still pretty good. Uh, we have Rhapsody on the song, but I've, I haven't listened to the whole album for a while now. Uh, this is definitely a dumpster fire album. I fucking hate swans, but I don't think that's anything new. Uh, just sounds like really obnoxious, unlistenable garbage to me, so I fucking hate them. Uh, yeah. What the fuck is Swans? I still don't get it. This is Sounds in the Key of Life. Songs in the Key of Life by... Um, fucking Stephen Wonder. Um, pretty great. The songs that I do really like are fucking great. Isn't she lovely? And uh, Ass. I fucking love Ass. So that's great. Uh, it's a bit too long for me. So it could definitely like be trimmed down and I would like it more. But uh, this sound in general is fucking great. It's really relaxing. It's really cool. So I'm def it's definitely a very high high to me, I would say. It's really great. So it might be top tier, but it's a bit too long for me. It's still great. Uh, per not, permanent wa not permanent waves. Uh, I, was I was called again. Um <sighs> a moving picture they're li literally moving pictures very autistic but pretty good I'll probably put it in high tier um, you know Limelight is on air Tom Sawyer of course is classic uh, YYZ is pretty good uh, what else um, Red Barchetta I believe Limelight is probably my favorite I would say So, uh, pretty good songs I like it quite a bit pretty consistent album and does kind of fall apart uh, after the first four songs so yeah that's why it's not any higher and this is not a Kate Bush album which I do like but I've not really sat through the whole thing so um, yeah but I am generally I do generally like Kate Bush though but yeah not the most up to date sound I would say but still, still I, I do still like her voice I like her vision um yeah i think i've only like played a, a couple of hours of skyrim and i do love wide run though wide run is fucking great but i've not i haven't listened to the full soundtrack um never mind is a bit too straightforward for me i prefer the more dense more uh raw tone of in utero so it's going to be a mid tier for me for and never mind Mother 2, a uh, pretty acclaimed game, um, like 16-bit, I believe, like an old-school Nintendo game. Pretty good. Um, I haven't really sat through the whole soundtrack, but uh, people really fucking love Mother, so I should probably look into that, but I'm not really into text-based adventure games, so uh, who knows, but yeah, people say it's good. Violator by Depeche Mode, uh, pretty decent stuff, but I've, I only really love... Um, enjoy the silence, which of course is great. Um, I've actually found like a like a fucking Hatsune Miku edit with like a synthwave uh, kind of vibe, 
where like Hatsune Miku is singing Enjoy the Sad. So that is fucking awesome to me. Uh, I love that, but can can I really count that towards a Depeche Mode accomplishment? Because they didn't really make that. They did make the song, but uh, I love that version. That might be my top 100 right now. So yeah, the Depeche Mode is still pretty good, I would say. Uh, Pink Moon, pretty pretty good album. Uh, I would say high tier, maybe or top. I say high tier. The the tone is a bit too one tone. Like I said, I'm gonna set it a lot probably as a complaint. Um, but yeah, the album is more simplistic. It is more to the point. It just uh, strips it down to the bare minimum, or it just strips it down to the most um, honest top of Nick Drake which uh does kind of lose a lot of flavor and production in his in his uh, album so i'll probably like five leaves left the most of this uh but still do you know still pretty good on but uh ping moon it, like it sounds a lot weaker than his first two in my opinion production wise but the songs might be the best uh this is electric lady lens with jimmy Hendrix, probably my favorite by him gonna put it in high tier uh fucking voodoo child is amazing that is the slide return uh version is fucking great um yeah you know all along the watchtower is a bit too overplayed for me voodoo child is also on there which is kind of a jam 10 minute jam but uh the the slide return of course is is the ultimate jimmy Hendrix song Vesper team, my Bjork, my favorite Bjork album because uh, it is a bit more relaxing. It's a bit more mellow, I would say. So uh, top tier for that. Um, still not Gather, I would say, because um, like I said, Bjork is uh, definitely an acquired taste. I definitely have to be in the right headspace to listen to her shit. But I still like her. Though. I do still think that she's pretty good. So um, yeah, kudos to her. I do still like her quite a bit. Uh, Unison is one um, is a fucking beautiful song. I'll say that is one of my favorite songs. This is FK Twix, uh, Bjork inspired. Uh, I did try to listen to her, but I did kind of lose interest after a while. So that's the reason why I'm not really into her. But she is interesting. This is um, Akibo. Aheko, I believe, like a like a Japanese folk indie uh, chick, which is pretty cool. But um, there's the dick. I can see it right now. Damn. Um, yeah. So there's that. It's probably best for me to just put it now here or something, and then just try to ignore it. <laughs> um, yeah. So. I wasn't really into it myself from what I've heard. I, I like her earlier stuff a bit better. Uh, but uh, but I do like Akio Akabo. I think that's her name. Uh, I do like her quite a bit. Um, usually not a full album. It's it's a bit too minimal for me to really get into that. But still pretty great. Elf Costello, Boomer Shit. Um, Paul McCartney, oh, Paul McCartney is the biggest fucking uh, boomer dead rock fucking artist ever. <laughs> Paul McCartney and uh, Wings are definitely boomer tier for sure. This looks like a tweet. What the fuck is a tweet doing on there? It's weird. Siamese Dream by Smashing Pumpkins. Fucking great. Uh, like I said. Um, okay, so Mayonnaise is one of my favorite songs. Chair Brock sounds fucking great. Uh, really great production. Really cool sounds. A lot of good uh, tracking, layering on there. Uh, what else is on there? Disarm, which I think is a bit too whiny for me, but still pretty good. Uh, yeah, just um, Today is the Greatest. Oh, it's just called Today. That That's pretty great. So, yeah, a lot of good songs. I like it quite a bit. Wilco. Never really got into it myself. Uh, kind of like country folk type of band. Uh, cool sound, but um, not my favorite. Uh, probably mid there, but I don't really care, to be honest. Ladder Battles by Tool. Definitely got there. One of my favorite uh, alternative albums, one of my favorite metal bands, I would say. 
uh, Parabola is great. Uh, the Grudge is an amazing opener. Lateral is the opening song. It's probably in my top 10 favorite songs ever. The the fucking tone, the the build up, and the fucking the breakdown is amazing. So yeah, amazing album. I love it. Uh, Fiona Apple. This album is album cover is really ugly. Um, Marvin Gaye. This album. Uh, it is a bit dated. It is a little bit campy for me. Uh, when I heard it, I was really not into it. Um, I don't like it. I really can't get behind this album. It's it's really safe R and B type of music. So, Loader. I don't I don't like it. American Idiot by Green Day. Uh, the title track is great. I love Jesus of Suburbia. That is uh, my favorite gr Green Day song. You got fucking what well, I was called again. Um Boulevard of Broken Dreams, which is like every edgy teen's favorite song, but I do like that song as well. Uh Wake Me Up and Some Time Rands, that is a pretty sad song if you know the context about that song. Uh so yeah, Green Day. Um I like the song quite a bit. Uh, of course now they're fucking garbage and they remade this album cover with uh Mothers of All which uh, is a huge piece of shit, so that's a bit unfortunate, but uh, Jesus of Suburbia, still pretty great. Still probably my favorite pop punk song to this day. Or, um, well, maybe that poppy cover, um, Afraid of Dying, and that, that Dying, yeah, Afraid of Dying. That sounds fucking awesome to me. I've heard this album, but I don't really care about to read the later Weezer albums, they're too... In, uh, they are too uh, inconvenient or too, uh, I don't know, valueless, I guess, to me. Uh, this is a really weird deconstruct club album. I tried to get into this and it sounds really bad. Like her voice, she sings in a really weird way. Her production is really all over the place. It sounds like your, your head going through like... Um, a dishwasher or something um or like a fucking a washing machine it's uh yeah it's it doesn't appeal to me it sounds pretty bad so maybe low tier probably shit it sounds really bad to me i don't i don't, I don't get it this is roy orbison this looks pretty boomer to me so let's put it just put it in boomer tier um, and Bob Dylan definitely his most dead rock album that's going in boomer tier for sure 2112 by Rush I can put Rush in boomer tier uh, yeah fuck it let's put it in boomer tier I don't give a shit <laughs> uh, the title track is pretty epic though uh, nah, maybe mid tier I don't know I do like the album cover as well jo another Joy Division album I don't really care for Joy Division so that's another low tier for me um, the sound of Joy Division just doesn't appeal to me. They're just too minimal. And uh, Ian Curtis, he ha he has the weakest fucking voice on the on the earth. So yeah, I was never into them. I don't I don't get it. There are way better post from guns out there. Like the Cure and Have a Nice Life are way better. And then the Chameleons are fucking great. Mingus, uh, never listened to this, but uh, it has like a 430 on Rachel Music. It, it's really acclaimed. Van Morrison, boring, annoying, boomer shit. And also, who puts his fucking face five times on his own album on his own album cover? That's not even not even right. It's fucking <laughs> on the side. What a fucking dumbass. The first Jimi Hendrix album, still pretty good, but uh, a bit more dated. I prefer his later two, so that's going to go. Uh, may uh, uh, I like it. <laughs> I do like Jimi Hendrix. It's probably my least favorite out of his three, though, but um, it's still pretty good. Maybe deserves a, a spot other than um, not besides Green Day. He deserves better. Fragile by Yes, uh, probably my favorite jazz album. I'm going to put it in high tier. Um, Green, I kind of ruins it right here. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Fucking 
Waar was het again? Ja, oké, okay, yes. Ja, um, yeah, my favorite album covers well. I love the earth, I love the colors. I love uh, the sunset song, I believe, was on air. Um, roundabout, of course. Roundabout, of course, is great. So, pretty classic album. So, I definitely uh, recommend it if you want to get into proc. Fragile is not a bad start. Dummy by Portishead. Uh, one of my favorite trip hop albums. I probably say I still prefer Mezzanine. Um, but it's t- it, it is pretty great. I do love it. Um, pretty ironic to put it next to g- Gorillas. Um, but yeah, pretty great. Um, I do generally l- really like the tone. I love Be- Beth Gibbons' voice. She's probably my favorite vocalist ever. I fucking love her voice. Um, Mysterions is fucking great. Um, Glory Box is classic. S- uh, Sour Times. Uh, her v- her vocal phrasing on that song is fucking beautiful. So I love I love her voice. The beats are more minimal, more acid jazz driven, but still cool. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck with that sound. Crack the sky, crack the sky by Mastodon. My favorite Mastodon album. Uh, the Todd track is amazing. Uh, Oblivion is great. Uh, that that uh, cute folky song is pretty good. Pretty good shit. Um, yeah, uh, I li- I put it in God tier. The the SAR is great. This whole album front to back is pretty great. So yeah, I like it quite a bit. Kill 'em all by Metallica. Not my favorite Metallica album, but it's uh, pretty out there. It's pretty ferocious. It's pretty heavy. Um, yeah, you know, Seek and Destroy and fucking uh, the Four Horsemen are great. So those songs are pretty good. So for that, I'll put it in. Uh, high tier. Tom Waits, closing time. My favorite Tom Waits song. Uh, Murfa's probably. My, uh, I think it was called Murfa's. My favorite Tom Waits song. The bluesy kind of piano tone. Uh, when I hear the song, I just want to have like some whiskey or something at the bar with a cigar. Like just the perfect vibe for that. Pretty relaxing. So I'm gonna put it in high tier. I like it quite a bit. Cool, cool vibe. Um, this album is three hours long, I think. No thanks. Uh, Mal Smiles, that's fucking adorable. Um, Radiohead, their last album, the <laughs> Pablo, any, um, Moon Chapel, pretty great. Uh, Dex Dark and uh, The Burn the Witch, I like quite a bit. Uh, yeah, Daydreaming is fucking miserable, but that's song, it has a vibe, so I'm gonna put this in high tier. The production is pretty great. The direction is pretty good, so uh, yeah, I love the album cover as well. It looks pretty sick. So yeah, good album. Uh, Sweet Trap by or no, Velocity Design Comfort by Sweet Trap is a fucking amazing album. So it's gonna go in the gat here. Um, this album is got here because it has um, it has glitch pop elements, it has a, a shoegaze vibe, it has beautiful vocals, it has a really interesting production. It it is an IDM album as well, so it's basically if Avex Twin and My Bloody Valentine uh, made it made a baby, you would have Sweet Trip, which is fucking beautiful. And I prefer Sweet Trip over both of those artists. So. You got the best of both worlds there. So that's fucking great. Uh, Sweet Trip is an amazing band. Um, I got one of my server members into this album. And <laughs> I think it's still in this in this 3x3 three three of uh, favorite albums. So that's... I think it's it's one of his new favorites now. So I am um, I am thankful or I am grateful that, um, that, I, that I got someone into this album that loves it. That didn't know it yet. So that's great. Uh, it's one of it's it's one of my favorite albums. It's probably still in my top ten. So it is an amazing sounding album. I love it. Uh, Can't buy a thrill. Yeah, that was the album. It has do it again on air. Pretty relaxing vibe. Uh, pretty good tone. Uh, just pretty relaxing to put on. So I like it quite a bit. I'll put it in top tier. Uh, don't enjoy it as much as Asia, which is just a perfect uh, kind of jazz rock kind of sound. Uh, but can buy a thrill. Not far behind for me. <coughs> uh, Pixies um, Fucking I was called again That's one song um, 
Gigantic, yeah. Gigantic is one of my favorite uh, songs. I love that tone. Uh, I wish that Francis sang more, like um, the bassist female. I love her the most, I would say. Um, I just like her tone a lot. She sings a lot better. Um, yeah, and I think, I don't know. When she did that song, it really felt like I connected to Pixies, whereas a lot with their other songs, it sounds a bit more uh mixed for me a bit more middle of the road so that's probably how i feel about this song or about this album because it is it does, doesn't have gigantic on it which is my favorite picture song but still pretty decent album though uh the fragile by nine inch nails my favorite nine inch nails project i'll pr probably put it in top tier you got um Fucking When the World Went Away, I believe, is on this album. And uh, the Tower track is amazing. Um, just the tone and just how it like, breaks down is fucking awesome. Uh, the Day the World Went Away, I believe. Um, yeah, this sounds like the, the whole world is like fucking incinerating or something. It sounds fucking awesome. Um, you also got... How's it called again? A star Focus is fun as well. And uh, what else? Huh. We're in this together now, which is also so fucking great. So yeah, a lot of good shit on there. I like it quite a bit. So that's definitely top tier. Definitely my favorite Nine Inch Nails project, in my opinion. It is a double album though, so it, it, it is a bit inconsistent. So that's why it's not God tier, but it is the best sounding Nine Inch Nails album to me, in my opinion. LCD sound system, boring as hell. Never really got into the sound, into this dense punk shit. So meh, low tier. Lou Reed's boring dad rock music. Uh, only yeah, honestly, kind of boomer rock. I would say too boring for me. <coughs> Ride the lightning by Metallica. My favorite Metallica album. I'll put it in top tier. You got fucking For Whom the Bell Tolls and Ride the Lightning in the Tower track. Uh, Fate to Black is great. Uh, the Call of Cthulhu is one of my favorite songs ever. That is a fucking amazing instrumental. So I like that quite a bit. Yeah, so uh, good shit. Met uh, Metallica at their best, in my opinion. At their, mo at their tightest, at their most aggressive, at their most fun, in my opinion. Um red house painters the, i wasn't as much into the second album the only album that i really returned to is uh, the second one but it was it was decent though tim buckley i tried to get into this album you know just because of name recognition because of uh, his son which you know is the more successful artist but tim buckley might be a bit more acclaimed because he's more out there he, he experiments more with the sound so i do like or I do respect him for that like is a strong word but uh, yeah I wasn't really into Tim Buckley his vocals his phrasing is really fucking out there so I could never really get into him so I'm gonna put this album in low tier it doesn't appeal to me I like Jeff Buckley way better but that's the most normal opinion you can have um, this is a Van Morrison album that I really hated so I could put it in boomer tier but I, I, I hate this album so I'm gonna put it in shit tier it's not like dumpster fire, but it is just pretty bad music to me. Uh, the Zombies are pretty fun, pretty uh, pretty good bands. Uh, their their sound, their production is fucking amazing, especially for the time. Their album or their songs, it does kind of sound like one tone for me, just like I said, like repetitive. Um, which is a word I should that that I'm kind of repeating too much. Um, but yeah, still pretty good, I would say. The, the sound, the the production on this album is fucking amazing, especially for the time, like I said. But uh, yeah, the songs definitely leave a lot to be desired for me. It, it doesn't really stick out to me as something unique that I would return to. My opinion, my opinion. Um, Hot Rats, I haven't really listened to it, but uh, my, my members love this album, or like the mods. So uh, you should check out anything with Frank Zappa because he's really good, apparently. I've never bothered. I'm a I'm a I'm a scrub. Talking at um, only album that I've really heard from them. Uh, I'm not really into new wave. Probably still my favorite is Tears for Fears. But uh, yeah, Talking at is a decent band. But I it's not really a sound that I return to myself. So yeah, meh. New wave it never really appealed to me. 
The Talking Heads is probably the best band of that genre. Neil Young. Uh, oh, don't put me on Spotify. Oh, no, don't do it. Boomer shit. Um, <coughs> Age of Ads by Suvian Stevens. Probably his most interesting project, I would say. Uh, it's a bit shorter than Illinois, so it's easier to return to. So I'm going to put this album in top tier. It's pretty fun. It's pretty wild. It's pretty out there. Um, he does more of an electro pop kind of glitch pop type of sound, which uh, appeals more to me. So I do like that as well. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Suvin Stevens is the man. Your rules. Purple Rain by Prince. Um, I didn't really love Prince for a while. You know, I would say around his death uh, is when I got really into him. And then for a few years, I really liked him. But then after a while, I just got kind of bored of him because his music just sounds kind of like... Like it has a good R&B beat, but his uh, falsetto doesn't really appeal to me. Like, it's not bad, but it's just... It's not really what I look for in, in vocals. I don't really like falsetto, uh, usually. Sometimes it can be done well, but usually not for me. Um, so, yeah, that's the reason why I'm not really listening to Prince a lot these days. But still, probably mid there. Still decent album. <coughs> the Smiths, uh, pretty great compilation album. Not... Um, not my favorite songs on there necessarily, and the songs that are my favorites were on other compilations, I believe. So I'm gonna give this a high tier. This is my favorite Smith's album cover, though. I love this cover, but um, it's very hipster. It's very fucking cool. I like it, but not my favorite. Um, but favorite album cover. There's some really good songs, so I do like it quite a bit. But it's not it's not the queen of that. Uh, Boris, Feedbacker, uh, Almost Gotcha, I would say. Um, it, it gets a bit too noisy for me, so that's the reason why I wouldn't put it in Gotcha myself. But uh, it's really close to the top. It's really great. Another Boris album there. What's new? Electric Wizard, or uh, <laughs> Funeralopolis, um, fucking Dope Throne. Dope Throne by Electric Wizard is great. Really nasty, fucking uh, brutal, or like just really aggressive, heavy type of, type of album. Um, it hits fucking heavy, so I do like it for that quite a bit. Um, yeah, you know, I do think that uh, I'm not always into this mood. <clears throat> Definitely listen to it when you're high or when you just want to like zone out to something. Then Electric Wizard is a good pick. Pretty good fucking stoner uh, metal music. I prefer it over Black Sabbath, in my opinion. I've heard this Queen album, Somebody to Love is on air, but I don't remember the whole album. The Queen is Dead by the Smiths, uh, pretty great. I put it in the top tier, my favorite Smiths album. Um, the Tower Truck is great. You got... Um, Cemetery, Cemetery Gate, which is which is the catchiest Smith song in my opinion. The Boy with a Thorn in the Side is beautiful. Love that song. You got um, If a Freight Train Hit Us or Some Shit, that one. Who got the title of it? Um, fucking, uh, how's that song called again? Um, how is it? It's over or something? I don't remember. Not not how soon is now. I wish I wish that song was on there, but uh, it's over now. Fuck. I know it's over. It's a fucking great song. Um, and Big Mad Strikes again is also really catchy. Um, the last two-ish songs kind of suck. You know, there's a light that never goes out and all, of course, but uh, Viker and uh, and some girls are pretty pretty bad, in my opinion. <laughs> and frankly, Mr. Shangley. Yeah, the archery songs on there that are kind of trash, which kind of keeps it away from God here. Uh, but besides that, this album is really fucking good, so I really like it. So, uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. It's or if you like, uh, you know, more like. Uh, jangle pop like kind of uh, post punk pop kind of um, sound in a way if you like that then uh, the Smiths are pretty great 
Uh, rumors by Fle- Fleetwood Mac. Uh, I don't really have to hear Go Your Own Way again, but uh, Dreams is beautiful. And um, The Chain is like a fucking banger. I love that song. So Fleetwood Mac, they do relax me. If Landslide was on there, it could honestly be top tier. Maybe, well, not God tier. It's a bit too death rock for me, but it, it is a great sound. I do like it quite a bit. So high tier. A landslide is fucking beautiful. Um, I have to with with a fucking with a five centimeters AMV um, with landslide by Fleetwood Mac. It's it's fucking beautiful, man. I love that shit. People that say that the Smashing Pumpkins version is better, it's fucking hilarious. Um, you know, I like I do like Smashing Pumpkins more, but that that cover is not better. Like fuck off, the OG all the way. Um, brand new, I believe. Could you be my babe? Could you be my babe? Uh, I had this on my playlist for a while. I didn't really listen to it anymore after that, but it was fun for a while, so I'm going to put it in mid tier. The singer's kind of uh, kind of an asshole, if you know the whole story. So, uh, Sade. Sade is pretty great. Um, she has a fucking beautiful voice. Love her vocals. Uh, it has been a while that I've listened to this album but uh i have a cherish the day or i have the song cherish the day with like a fucking with like an anime background with like a, a remix kind of version which sounds a bit more like the production is kind of modernized in a way um it's really fucking good uh, by the way i can link all these amvs to you if you want or you can just look into my playlist but you can also message me on discord if you if you want me to send them directly uh, we can arrange shit. Uh, but uh, yeah, Cherish the Day is fucking great. Um, this album sounds fucking great. So I'm probably... Yeah, fuck it. Let's put it in top tier. Um, it is really fucking chill as well. The only reason it's not God here is because the, the, the tone is a bit too slow, I would say. It's a bit too chilled out for me, even for me. Uh, because you really have to be kind of in an R&B type of mood. Or like you want to make love or shit, so... If you're into that mood, then Sade is the perfect artist, and Love Deluxe is her is her perfect album, I would say. So definitely listen to it; it's fucking great. Uh, this is Kit, the second Kit Cudi album. I've only really listened to this one, and then I heard he was shit. I've honestly never really got into the replacements. A lot of people like them, but I never really got it. So. Unfortunate. Uh, this is a King Gizzard album, and I can't remember King Gizzard album because it's all fucking blur on that. This is uh, Sonic Youth. This is like an, a, a fucking No Wave album. It's pretty wild. And I, I hate No Wave, by the way, where, where you're just like making loud no- noises with no music. It's fucking garbage. This was probably the most listenable album, though, in the genre, so I'll say that. Uh, Meat is Murder. Uh, there are some good songs on it, but uh, the title track, I believe, is kind of a huge piece of shit. So, yeah, not a huge fan of re listening to that. Um, The Wall, I'd say it's pretty good. Uh, hey You is amazing, and uh, Constantly Numb is great. Uh, it's way too fucking long. That's that's the problem I have with it. It's way too inconsistent, but um, the, the it has some of the best Pink Floyd songs for sure. I'll say that. This is happening. This band sucks. Um, Magical Mystery Tour, probably my favorite Beatles album. I'll probably put it in mid there because it's still too death rock for me. But uh, yeah, decent sound. I like it. Uh, or uh, it, the, the most likable Beatles album, I would say. Death Consciousness by Have a Nice Life. Amazing sound. This is like a like a fucking post punk, like a crushingly dark experience that I had with this album. Really fucking sinister, really, really cold, really fucking eerie and shit. It has a bit of a shoegaze vibe as well. So yeah, it's it's like the perfect post punk album for me. So this this is going in the gutter for me. This is like the perfect post punk for me. I fucking love it. Um, yeah, the second album is also pretty good, but not as good as uh, Death Consciousness in my opinion. It's it's like perfect beta music for me. Uh, Genesis is really boring. That proc rock band, I never really re listened to this album. I, I think I tried a few times, but I don't like Genesis, in my opinion. 
and just listen to Yes. In Rainbows by Radiohead, uh, probably my favorite Radiohead album. I think uh, 15 Step is pretty good. Weird Fishies is probably my favorite Radiohead song. Um, All I Need, I have to win a lane AMV. Uh, that shit is fucking, fucking soul crushing. Like, holy shit. Like, Radiohead is a pretty miserable band, but that, that song is the most miserable. It, it, it fucking depresses me, but in, in a good way. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> people in the radio server say it's, it's like therapy for them i'm not even like a big radio fan i just joined it because it was like uh, uh the the on the top rated like or it was like on top of this board of dutch servers of dutch music servers so that that's why radio is a pretty popular band um yeah but you know i do still like the band though i wouldn't i wouldn't join it if i hated the band you know so <laughs> Uh, doesn't really have to do with the album though, but uh, still, still kind of a fun story, I guess. So, um, this is my favorite radio album, the most fun one. Uh, Weird Fishes, like I said, is amazing. 15 Step, All I Need is Beautiful. Um, yeah, people like Videotape, I believe. Uh, I like House of Cards a lot, the production is really good. So, I'm gonna put this in, uh, in top tier. Pretty, pretty great. It is my fave by Radiohead man I'm getting depressed uh, <laughs> the band I believe boomer fucking shit and I mean they're literally called the band I think I've heard one song from them I'm not even sure why because I just wanted to try them out and it was the most fucking bore, most boring death rock music ever uh, this is the Tom Waits album, Rain Dogs, but I've only really heard the first one because his later stuff, it's, I can't get into it, personally. Um, couldn't really get into Joanna Newsom because her voice was just a bit too obnoxious for me. Uh, Kid Cudi, uh, pretty fun. You got Day and Night on there, and of course, uh, I'm on the pursuit of happiness. Penis. That song is fucking great. I, I I had that with a with with the Monogatari movie AMV, but I think someone deleted it because it's not available anymore, or he made it private. It's really fucking unfortunate because I love the visuals in Monogatari. With that song, it was like one of my favorite videos for a while. So that's really unfortunate. But I still I still like the song quite a bit. It's just a bit sad that it's gone. But yeah, what do you do? Uh, still pretty good. This is a Radar Spainers album. Um, if th if that album that I like is not on there, I might just rate this one. This was kind of like my favorite for a while with another fan, with one of my fans that also got into Radar Spainers. So we liked this album quite a bit. I believe there was a song on there called Black Hole, which was pretty dope. So I'm gonna put this in high tier. Uh, this and the second album are my favorites, personally. But we listened the most to the to the last one, and then he did uh, Sun Kill Moon. Uh, the first Smiths album, pretty good sounds. It's a half naked boy though, so I don't really have to bother. With, I don't really want to bother with it, but uh, it had some decent songs there, but I don't really remember much of it. I listen more to the last two. Holy Dive by Dio, uh, pretty good sound. Uh, Dio in general is like uh, like regular heavy metal music, so it's not really a sound that I return to a lot. But I would still say it is a decent sound. So uh, maybe top tier, high tier. Yeah, probably high tier. It's probably fair. Uh, Rainbow in the Dark is a fucking great song. I love that song. Uh, what else do you got? Uh, Holy Dark for the Tower Struggle, of course. I had it with like an AMV with like some uh, with some fighting combat girls. That was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, that's a lot of fun for me. Um, he had a song where he did like Fight the Night or some shit. I think that was on there. That was a, it, it was a bit obnoxious, but that was also kind of good, I would say. Decent song. Back to Black by Amy Winehouse. Did not expect this album to be on there. Um, the title track is pretty good. My favorite song by her is You're No Good, I believe. I believe that's the title of it. That song is great. Uh, pretty enjoyable R&B type of album, R&B soul. So pretty good. I'll put it in a high tier. Uh, 
Uh, this is it by the Strokes. I like it, but it's a bit too. It's the Strokes. It's garage rock, uh, revival music. I don't want to say repetitive again. Uh, but that's really what it is, though. It's it's just a bit too uh, one tone, I guess. So yeah, that's the reason why I never really got into the Strokes. But I like Room on Fire probably the most. Sounds the most fun to me. Um, you still got some good songs on there, like Last Night and um, what else is on there? Fucking. Um, last night and <laughs> someday is pretty good. Um, there was like one other song that people really like. Um, probably my favorite is New York New York City Cops, but that's not on all the versions because it's a bit of offensive. But uh, it's it is a fun album, but it's just a bit too one tone for me. Garage rock just doesn't really appeal to me. Uh, the first MJ album, I don't remember much of it, so I'm not gonna rate it. But um, can't get enough for some shit and rock with you, of course, are great. This is the latest Taylor Swift album, which I've not heard, but the the songs that I did hear, I did really like though. Taylor Swift is listenable again to me, at least. Or I would say in general, in general, she's pretty listenable now. Doesn't really make obnoxious pop songs anymore. She's just re-recording her her old shit, and she does it more uh, authentic now. Someone is like mess pinging me. What is going on here? Oh, <laughs> my people are more. Uh, they're sharing more tearless, I believe. Oh, nice. Someone changed their profile picture to Pentium Stocking. That's fucking great. Um, Bob Dylan, Boomer Shit. Um, fucking Songs for the Deaf. And this album is fun. It's it's way better than Kai's, I would say. Uh, Queens of the Stone Age is kind of a band that, um, you know, I do think they are kind of so-so for me. Sometimes they are pretty good. Sometimes they are just kind of boring, like Kai's. Uh, but this is probably my favorite album from them you know you got no one knows which is my least favorite of the album i would say but that's the most popular uh well it's not my least favorite but it's, it's pretty good it, it's just the most playable one it's it's a bit old it gets a bit old um go with the flow is pretty good and then you got not rooms the tier, rooms not that that's a sound garden song First, it give it. Yeah, that song is pretty good. The title track is probably my fa uh, my most played song now. That song is fucking a slapper. That that is a fucking banger. Um, yeah, I'll probably put this album in high tier. It's pretty good. It's my favorite uh, Joss Homme project because Kai's is boring and Eagles' death metal is a joke. So yeah, his main band is definitely the best. Uh, school is pretty fun, but I haven't really listened to this whole album. Uh, I've heard a bit of this album and it sounded like shit, so I didn't uh, listen more. Listen, listen more to it. Uh, okay, Computer by Radiohead, I think, is a pretty good album. I'll probably put it in high tier. Um, it's not my favorite, though, because um, it just sounds a bit too fucking miserable for me, like most Radiohead albums do. <coughs> Letdown is great, though. Paranet Enders is great. Karma Police is pretty good. Um, a lot of the songs are uh, just a bit too whatever for me, so I don't always really put it on. I like their later stuff where they just use more electronics. I prefer that, but this album is still pretty good to me. Just not my favorite. The bands, more boomer shit, of course. The re-recording of Red, I believe. I haven't heard it yet. Uh, Bob Dylan, this album sounds pretty obnoxious to me. So I'm gonna put that in the shit there. Um, hopefully my, my fucking charger works. Yes, it does. Or so I, so I believe. Ramones. Um, I think people kind of overhate the Ramones now because they are so repetitive, but it's still pretty good. So, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty good, but, uh, or it's decent. It's just, it's just way too, way too one tone. 
I'm saying that way too much, but some of this music is really just too repetitive for me. And that's the only way I can really phrase it. Uh. Rising by Rainbow. I like it quite a bit, but um, it does have weaker moments. Terrid Woman, I believe, was not my favorite, uh, but ra uh, fucking Stargazer and Light in the Black are reason enough to love it. So just for those two songs, I'll put it in high tier. Might be top tier if more songs were as epic as those two. But the build-up is also pretty sweet. Getting to those moments, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, the second or the, the third Sweet Trip album. Only heard it really once. I did like it. But the Kirkwood to be new the album kind of sounded like a better version of that of this album. So I recommend listening to that. Mount Erie, I listened to a bit. It's pretty sad, but the tone was pretty good because it's more um, more the microphones type of stuff. So I do like it. Penty and stocking. My members have good taste. Um, join if you if you have good taste as well. Vince Staples, uh, I listened to this album. It has a good atmosphere. His rapping is pretty decent. His beat choices are a bit too odd for me or like a bit too inconsistent. So that's the reason why I don't always return to it. But I did like the album. So I'm going to put it in high tier for now. I do enjoy Vince Staples. It's probably his most consistent work, I would say. Yeah, this was the album that I wanted to like because it had like, like Paddy Smith looks pretty hot on this one. But um, yeah, it's it's not good in my opinion. <laughs> ELO, I think I've only listened to the spatial one, so can't judge. It does. I think this one has the. It's a living thing. Dig it, dig it. I love that song now, but I haven't really listened to the whole thing. Um, Morning Glory, probably my favorite Britpop album. I'm gonna put it in the high tier. Um, still my favorite song goes to the Pulp One, um, Ordinary People. That's still the best one. Or Common People. Ordinary People is, I believe, a U2 song. Definitely, maybe, kind of the same one, same thing. I think it has better production, but the songwriting is better on What's the Story, Morning Glory, so... You can kind of in interchange those two, but both are pretty good. Uh, this is fucking J. Cole. I always thought that J. Cole was kind of mid, to be honest. Like, kind of just whatever to me. So, yeah, I'm going to put... Well, I'm actually not sure if that's what that term means. Because, like, someone explained to me that kind of mid means shit. But I always thought it meant mid tier, kind of mid. I kind of have to look into that because I keep calling shit kind of mid because it sounds, it's really catchy to me because, yeah, kind of mid. But maybe that means shit because shit is an offensive term. So, or kind of, but not really anymore. It's just kind of white noise, but it's more offensive for other people. So, kind of mid might be the censor for that. Oh, this is Blade, I believe. Yeah, Blade is fucking garbage. Uh, Blade goes in the dumpster fire. I fucking hate Blade. I not. I haven't re. I haven't even listened to this album, but um, I've listened to the one with the with the purple and green color. I fucking hate Blade. F fuck. Oh, why can't? How does anyone listen to Blade? It's fucking garbage. Um, so bad. It's like a really obnoxious fucking um. Um, fucking cloud rap type of shit. And Young Lean also does that, but Young Lean just sounds okay to me, so he gets a pass for me. Meteora by Linkin Park. Um, probably my favorite Linkin Park album. I'm going to put it in high tier. Um, I like Somewhere I Belong, Faint, Breaking the Habit is my favorite. I have that with a Garden of Cinders AMV. Fucking love that shit. That's definitely like a top term Linkin Park moment, or even Gather, maybe, because it is my favorite Linkin Park song. Um, yeah, this is definitely dumpster fire for me. This is the band is fucking garbage, so fuck them. Um, this is pretty bad. <laughs> I don't want to acknowledge it. Um, this is uh, Phoebe Bridgers. She has a cool kind of late night indie chick kind of vibe. Uh, cool shit. I like her. 
kind of like a modern uh, Joni Mitchell in a way. She's fucking cool. I, f- I fuck with her. Um, yeah. High tier. Uh, Skrillex. I think a lot of people hate on it, but I thought it was kind of fine. Rock and Roll and um, Scary Monster I think are pretty catchy, so I'm going to put that in mid tier. I don't think it's as bad as people claim it to be. Um, XS Tentacion, though, is hot garbage, so I'm going to put that in the dumpster fire. That is really bad music. Uh, this Freebie Bridges album, People Say It's Better. I haven't listened to it yet. I did l- really like it, though, from what I've heard, so. Will return. Echo, I've heard a bit, and doesn't appeal to me a lot so it's gonna go in the low tier from what i've heard of it might improve another x6 and touch show album garbage hyper theory uh also fun also qu- like it quite a bit uh it's gonna go in the high tier i do prefer meteor though but uh hyper theory is still pretty good so I still recommend that you know you got fucking in the end uh, on air of course crawling is like edgy teen boys favorite song what else do you got you got fucking um what else point of authority i think it's fun to rap to white boy rap at his fillers but it's pretty fun pretty good album i like it um that's really like fucking uh paper cut is also a lot of fun I'm about to break th- that song. One step closer. Yeah, that song is pretty good. Um, yeah, I've honestly, I did give this a really high score, but I've not really listened to it for a while, so I can't honestly rate it. But this is the one I've heard, but it's been so long. Uh, Drake, from what I've heard of this project, it is a fucking mess. So that's definitely going in the shit there. And there's some Drake that I do like, though, but this album is a fucking mess. Um, Fallout Boy is pretty unlistenable to me, so it's also going in the trash. Uh, 21 Pilots, to be honest, I'm, I don't really hate them. Um, some people might hate them that are into RYM core, but I, I don't know. I think they have their moments, like... Blurry face is decent, I would say. Oh, uh, what else is on air? You can't really use like um, short terms like you can on Metal Storm. Twenty top pilots for sure. Yeah, they kind of dropped the ball, though. That's kind of sad. I thought it was pretty decent. Um, My friends don't like it, apparently. No, my friends really don't like it. Damn. Every Dirty Souls. <coughs> Every Dirty Souls pretty good. Stressed out, I liked. Uh, Ride, I love. I love Ride. I have that with, uh, with a Darling in the Franks AMV. Fucking love Ride. That was always my favorite. Um, yeah, it is kind of front-loaded, though. Fairly local, on Tear My Heart, Lane Boy, you know. Like, all those songs are really fucking popular, so. This album is front-loaded as well, but those songs are really fun, so. I, I do kind of like this album, so this, this is going to go in the mid there for me. It is kind of okay. Boston. Um, honestly, f- kind of fucking like, uh, I kind of love Boston. They are probably my favorite dad rock band. More than a feeling and peace of mind are fucking great. So I'm going to put this in high tier. It's a pretty fun album. I like it. The vocal phrasing and just how many copies it sold is fucking insane. Um, Blink is pretty bad, but I don't fuck with Blink albums. I've only heard the singles, which are pretty bad in my opinion. Sending with Creed. Uh, Evanescence, pretty decent band. Uh, Going Under, Bring Me to Life, and uh, My Immortals, my favorite. So, Call Me When You're Shower. A lot, a lot of classic songs, but uh, definitely a bit data. So, I'm gonna put it in mid tier. But uh, it was a decent time when, when I was like an edgy teen boy. 
it was a decent time. Take care, but Drake probably is best time, but still kind of mid, in my opinion. Uh, Take care with Rihanna, that was pretty fucking good. Also that. And that song is a banger. Well, this looks kind of messy um, to me, but I believe he passed away because fucking uh, fucking uh, cloud rappers or mumble rappers or something. It's yeah, they get pretty wild. Uh, I've heard this album once. Um, I think my whole server fucking hates MCR, like uh, the ones that joined my stream when I did this. Um, yeah, I don't really like MCR either, but from what I've heard, they sound pretty okay to me, so I'm going to put them in. I've only heard this album once, though, and I don't really feel like rating it, so whatever. Haven't heard. Follow the leader, pretty decent uh, stuff. Uh, Freaking Unleash and uh, fucking... That's what the other song called again. I uh, got to live. I think I'm pretty decent. So I was going to go in the mid -term. Um Yeah, still my favorite corn song is uh, Falling Away From Me. But that is from their, from their next album. Which is one of my favorite songs. I hate Panic and fucking Fallout Boy. I fucking hate those bands. But I can't sit through a wall from them. And Joji is just kind of boring to me. Um, yeah. Well, we're getting to really garbage music now. Uh, Elvis Costello does more boomer rock. I fucking hate Elvis Costello. This is a weird indie folk art, but I forgot his name. He had a really cool name, though, but his music was kind of mid to me. Yeah, Little Richard, you could shut your mouth. <laughs> this is really obnoxious to me. Um, This is Arctic Monkeys, which I thought always sounded kind of mid to me. Or you don't say it like that. It did just sound mad to me, so it's going to go in the mid there. I prefer the Strokes, maybe even the White Stripes. This is a country album we should try to get into. It is a bit too minimal, so I could never like fully uh, get into it, so not for me. I only really like Lila on this album. Uh, I only really like the bridge bar where the piano breaks out. That's fucking beautiful, but it's um, Air Clapton didn't write that, so don't give him credit for that. If you're like a, a huge Eric Clapton fan. And I mean, if you are, you're probably 60. Uh, yeah. Uh, sh shock, I believe. Smoke. Uh, smoke. Pretty good album covers, but his albums don't really do a lot for me. AM by Arctic Monkeys. Really fucking boring. Really predictable um, radio rock music. Low tier. Really boring. I don't get it. Elvis Presley, I think I've heard this once, but it's too, uh, uh, how do you say that? Insignificant for me to rate it. Uh, the last Daft Punk album, I'll probably say I'll give this one high tier. There's a lot of fun stuff on here, fun stuff on here. Like the Giorgio Moroder song, I believe that was his name. If I'm butchering his name, I apologize, but I don't. Giorgio Moroder, I believe. Yeah, if that's not the case, correct me. But um, that is a lot of fun for me. Uh, Get Lucky, of course, on here. Uh, Contact is fucking great. Touch is really, really uh, moving for me. I want to say touching, but that's a bit, a bit too cheesy. Um, yeah, Contact especially, their last song is fucking epic. And I actually d hope that they wouldn't make another album because it sounds too perfect for me. Um... Yeah, I've never really heard Mac DeMarco, to be honest. Yeah, n I never bothered. The first Beatles album, really boring, but I've already read Sgt. Pepper's. John Lennon, Imagine, really boring, predictable gospel music. Doesn't appeal to me. The the first JPEG album, that's interesting. It's interesting that they have this one, but not uh, a veteran. That's interesting to me. Also, no death grips, by the way. That's also interesting. This person doesn't like rap or something. Yeah, they really don't like the rap because I don't. I haven't rated uh, Tribe or I haven't rated uh, Hu Tang. Only yeah, only like the more abstract albums. Company Flow is pretty decent though. I do like them. So I'm going to give them high tier. 
This is with LP. This is his first project, I believe, which I do recommend. Um, yeah, pretty more lo-fi abstract hip hop, which is pretty good. Uh, Fade No More, this album I think is fun. Uh, generally not the biggest Fade No More fan. I do prefer Mr. Bungle, but this album is pretty decent. Uh, probably mid there, maybe high there. It's kind of on the verge. Um, okay, Scenes, not my favorite Dream Theater album, but it is still pretty decent. The concept is the best one, but uh, my favorite one to listen to is, um, is Octavarium. So I'm going to put scenes in high tier. I think it is a bit too pretentious for me, but I still think it's pretty good. So I'm going to put it uh, in the high tier. Mr. Bungle. Mr. Bungle is definitely top tier. Still hangs behind me. I still haven't bothered to change it. So uh, yeah, just really fun, uh, really hooky, really just experimental kind of uh, rock, you know, pop metal it's all of those things combined makes it into a really unique blend of uh great music i would say so i definitely i definitely recommend it um yeah it's pretty great fucking sweet charity the opening um people said in my server that it's fucking it's uh it's spongebob music which i don't disagree with now that i uh listen to it uh, none of the new the robots is great. I love that song. Uh, yeah, in general, pretty good. I like it. And the last one, uh, Mad Villainy. I, I, I originally wasn't really a big fan of Mad Villainy, but I did listen more to it, and I do like it more now. I'm generally not. I'm generally not a big fan of. Uh, yeah, generally. <laughs> couldn't really say the word i'm generally not really a big fan of mad lips production that's why i wasn't really into uh mad villainy but i did give it another go the production has grown on me and it does work better for me now so sometimes i just like zone out to this arm which is a lot of fun to me so i'm gonna put it in in the high tier a lot of people will probably say oh it deserves topper gather it's the best hip-hop album ever um it already grew on me though because I originally considered it like mid tier or like low, because I just I'm not a big fan of Madlib's production, but the production does work for me now. It's more lo-fi, uh, you know. Fucking M of Doom in general is a bit more lo-fi and a bit more uh, just grittier, or he's just a bit more subtle in his music. Uh, to compare to someone like Ghostface Skilla or Old Dirty Bastard, who, who are a bit more in your face, uh, M of Doom is a bit more. Um, abstract and out there a bit more lo-fi under the radar which i do prefer i do prefer that style so it's pretty cool so yeah that was the list um yeah now that i said it there's actually like almost no hip-hop on this album or, or on, on this list um yeah like the only thing that's hip-hop is like mf doom what else like gorillas is a bit of hi uh, hip-hop but i can't really consider that of course what else is hip-hop on there uh, Company Flow, uh, MF Doom, of course. There's almost no fucking hip hop on there. J. Cole, you know, fucking, yeah. Drake, I guess. Uh, there's almost no hip hop on this list. That's really weird. Um, yeah, so this this person that did this list, fucking um, Wumbo Igus, yeah, definitely sus. Um, this dude. Um, definitely has uh, something against hip hop. Black Star, I guess. I haven't really listened to that, but yeah, I wouldn't mind rating more hip hop. I thought that would be fun, but um, yeah, it's not very prevalent. Uh, Def, that one Def Grip song, which I'm not gonna show that because it's a dick. Um, but yeah, that is the list. Um, let me know if you agree with it. Uh, I can like kind of show it up for a while. The Boomer Tear, Dumpster Fire. Oh yeah, I should classify what these tears means again. What these tears mean again before I uh, end it. Boomer tear, you know, albums that I just find too boring and too dead rock for me to really appreciate. Dumpster fire albums that I would just like throw um, throw in the trash, but also put on fire because it's so bad. I just want to burn every copy of it. It's it's too bad. 
uh, shit there uh, albums that are just like unlistenable to me. Like I can get into it. It's just really obnoxious for me. I don't understand the appeal. Um, low tier albums that I want to like or something, but I just never really got into it. It just to yeah never worked for me. Mid tier are albums that I do like, but albums that just kind of fall short on uh, on potential, or maybe the production is a bit off, or maybe they have one really amazing song, but besides that, um, not really for me. Uh, high tier are the albums that generally sound good, uh, appeal to me, that I like. But um, there could be more, could be more songs that I like, but generally are pretty good albums that I would re revisit again. Top tier albums that are some uh, cream of the crop, some of the best albums, probably front to back classics, uh, but maybe something is off about them, something um, doesn't fully really click with me, but in general, these albums are pretty great and uh, are recommended, are some of the best albums in the genre. And God tier albums that I love to death, that I can just put on at any time, that I um, adore, you know, just praise, are just uh, some of the best albums I've ever heard, or just some of the most enjoyable albums in my uh, in my eyes, in my ears. Yeah, just some of the best music that um, that I've ever experienced on the Rage Music side. So uh, there's that. Well, I wanted to rate it. Uh, that dude that requested it, I believe his IP got banned from R Y Y M. So maybe this is a distraction for him. So, or maybe put me on while you're browsing R Y M. That might be a thing. Um, you could do what you want. I'm gonna end this video here because my voice is fucking toast. Uh, thank you for uh, watching this. Uh, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Like this video, subscribe to me if you want. If you want to see more of this content, if you want to discuss this music with me, um, go down into the description, click on the Discord link, go into my server, talk to me, or just DM me. I'm open for whatever. Um, yeah, you can let me know. Um, hit me up. You know, I c I could probably put my my own Discord and my server in there as well. If you just want to directly go into my server, I can do that as well. Yeah, I'll probably put two links there. Um, yeah, okay, so that's the video. Thank you for watching this. Uh, this is my ranking if you want to do it as well. I'll pro yeah, I'll probably link the tier list as well if you want to make the video yourself. You can share it in, in my Discord server. Yeah, that's, that's a fucking good idea. Damn, I just came up with that. Okay, so um, if you want to do this list as well, I'll link it in the description down below. Uh, you can make the list, and if you want to share it with me, uh, join in my... Um, Hop onto my Discord server, join in, and we can uh, discuss the picks, share our taste in music. That's fucking genius, damn. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> That's like really easy to figure out, but I just, I just um, thought of that. I just uh, came up with that. So, yeah, it just came to mind. So I was, yeah, good idea, right? So. Uh, yeah, do that. Uh, share this list as well. Probably gonna uh, link it in the description. You can let me know in Discord or you can just rank it for yourself. Uh, what, whatever you want to do if you ever made it to the end of the video. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching this. Uh, these are my uh, these are my favorite albums. Some of the top and god here. So. Uh, maybe I should put Rust in Peace in high tier because I say favorites and Rust in Peace is not necessarily an enjoyable album for me. But it is really good though. <sighs> yeah, but it's not, it's not relaxing. So yeah, whatever. Hi there. <laughs> These are some of my favorite albums. Fuck you, Megadeth. <laughs> yeah, I still have, uh, I still not the, the biggest fan, but uh, Rusty Pete is great, of course. But uh, these are some of my favorite albums so yeah that does make a lot more sense so yeah definitely check out all these albums and uh, all these <laughs> are kind of whatever no they're still pretty good still check them out if you want uh, so yeah that's the video hope you enjoyed it uh, do all those things that I just said uh, thanks for uh, Yukon uh, for requesting this to me um, yeah he's also in my server if you want to talk to him he requested this then uh, he's there talk to us I think we're kind of decent or something. We know something about music. So, uh, yeah, hop in. And, yeah, if you don't want to, if you don't want to, uh, then have a nice day and uh, later. Peace.